Welcome to Dwarven Forge Live. This is On the Anvil, episode 78. How did you? Yes, yes. it is. It, yeah. This is the episode I, where we unbox two big boxes of swamp from Wildlands. Do that uh, more right into your right into your love. Right into the lava there. Yeah. This is the show, uh, this is On the Anvil, the show where we take you behind the scenes here at Dwarven Forge in the studio, actually, today. Uh, showing yeah. you what we're working on, what we're thinking about. We hang out, we talk about terrain, talk about RPGs. Uh, this we is our we realize, this, beverage. we realize this is the first time streaming from the studio this year. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's exciting to be here in the flesh, alive, live and live. Yeah. And ready to hang out with you guys for two hours. And that's uh, part of the fun of the show is ask us questions, interact, shoot some stuff our way. Part of the fun is to um, <laughs> get some feedback. Oh, of course, you also hang, just lurk if you want to, too. There's no, uh, yeah. no requirement to yeah, there's no... get crazy. Yeah, there's no you watch in whatever way is most comfortable for you. But we're um, we're available should you desire to get a little crazy because it's fun. <laughs> he's pointing out he's dressed nice. Something is wrong. Excuse me. I'm always dressed. It's, nice. I don't even know what it is. There's some there's something afoot. It's well, a, you'll you'll all find out soon enough. He's on a job interview. I just yeah. <laughs> is I've been <laughs> I've been interviewing for other. For other positions. Well, he was getting spruced up over the course of the day. It's like it escalated yeah. slowly. <laughs> it was escalated like, slowly. It there's, was a, there's a good reason. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take your questions. We're gonna look at Wildlands uh, Swamp Step. We're gonna do a giveaway for fifty yes. bucks. We're gonna give you the news. What else are we doing today? Uh, we'll do a fan build, and we're gonna. Okay, so actually, so we don't think we might be wrong. We don't think that the unboxing is gonna take the entire thing. So cool. afterwards, we actually want to talk about. Two weeks ago, we were talking about trying to get together Hellscape some, some Hellscape bundles for when all those new th things come in. So we wanted to do a check-in on that after we do the unboxing. You know what we could also do? There's a box of, of new Sculpt Masters that just came in from our remote sculptor. For we could open those live and for see cities? what they are. Um, for I don't know. I think it's... What do you mean you don't know? I think it's... I don't know what all of them are. I know at least one piece, but I don't know what the other things are. But maybe we could open a thing on camera and see what happens. Okay. Let's see what happens with the unboxing. Yeah. Our, we'll just our... Okay, so there's going to be a surprise second unboxing after this, probably. No guarantees. Um, maybe we might forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> like the giveaway. <laughs> Feel free to remind us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely remind you, us. They, the they always forget to remind us, right? We always do the giveaway around an hour in, uh, around 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, Ish. I say always as though we've never missed it. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's get into it, talking about modular ships. Have you guys ever made custom orders or built the Ravenloft campaign? Uh, mm, ask Chuck. Ask Chuck. Chuck does know how to build out yes. Castle Ravenloft. Um, we don't do custom, like, we have to sell them in, like, the sets that they are packed in and all that, so we can't, like, put together, like, a custom composition and sell you or anything. But we could gather um, up all the sets for you and sell we them. We could tell you what you would need, yeah. Um, at least Chuck could, because Chuck has a document for that. All right, let's see. He's got a brain for dissecting modules and turning them into uh, uh, set lists. Yeah. So, uh, what's the. Uh, oh, yeah, news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, about the news. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, God, yeah, let's uh, hang on a second. First time back in the studio. First time back. It's the news! News! <laughs> It's the news. 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 All right. And I actually do look uh, like a newscaster today, so that's exciting. You're reporting um, live in the field. Reporting live. Uh, first, I want to take a quick... Well, this actually... D-Man's question actually ties into our first topic for tonight. D-Man's here? Uh, D-Man. Oh. It's a very different... <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very different show. Well, maybe um, not. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> We sent out, if you are a Wildlands backer and you did not see, we had a fairly large Wildlands update go out a couple days ago. We always update at the end of the month. That's what we do is we do monthly updates. And, um, uh, yeah, we're shipping. The factory is back after having been gone for Lunar New Year. Uh, and uh, because of that, we, have, we are shipping some stuff out. The final U.S. Well, no, there's still the... We're, we're not, don't say we're not even final because we haven't even gotten the final yeah. 
containers. Yeah, we really have, there's two more, three more. We've gotten five out of eight. Yes. One of them is the, the, the one off the wounded the, ship. The Madrid bridge is number six. Heating on the water. Did we get confirmation that we are Yes, they found it. They found it? They for, Briefly, actually during the team morning meeting, Jay's like, well, they've lost our container. He's like, I was, they, they, you know, I was waiting for, for info. Yeah. He's like, now it just doesn't even exist. Yeah, on Monday he was they like, found the, it. Yeah, he was like, the tracking number just isn't working for it anymore. It just disappeared. Like, no, what it does disappeared. that mean? <laughs> yeah. so. so they found it. It we do, and I believe it's not it's not damaged. I yeah. believe I don't know if we officially know, but at least they found it. Like it's not. I don't think it's damaged because they all the damaged containers they took off um, at their emergency stop. Yeah. So yeah, it is it is safe and on the way. Yes. Uh, they found it where? Still on the ship, thankfully. Woo! Um, and Tyler and yeah. Eric just got back today from inspecting um, the latest round of stuff, Swamp, yeah. whatnot. So, so that's, stuff continues to ship, and uh, we're getting there. Yeah. So that's the status on... The ship? <laughs> yes. That's the, that's the status on the U.S. shipping. Um, rest of world, I think we just got... Has it gotten on, the, or did we just get... The booking for UK EU. got a booking. It hasn't actually set sail yet, but it's. I think Jay is pretty confident this time it's going to go out. Like it's been a really, it's been really hard getting that one out for whatever reason. There was yeah. trouble with the German customs and or I don't know all these documents. It was one of those things like you need, you need the so and so document to release the thing. You're like, but we can't release the thing until we have the so and so document. We you can't like it was. You know, it's like trying to get your driver's license without a social security card or something. Things you need. So. <laughs> God, I hate that. But it's uh, when, crossing languages, right? Trying to get. If you lose your birth certificate, like. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're all sorts of trouble. It's. I speak from yeah. experience. Um, well, I didn't lose it, my parents did. We're good now. Um, yeah. Uh, and outside of that, I think then the rest of rest of world. Well, people who are living around Asia, people in, I think. They're gonna get stuff it, in the next three to four weeks. Yeah, like that is being, that's not being shipped anywhere. Like that's not being shipped in a container well, to a distribution hub. It is being oh, shipped yeah. out from the factory itself, I believe, directly to you. So if you live in uh, China, to, I think Thailand, what other areas is it? It's uh, the stuff around there. You know what, you, they can read the update. And they if you would, like, uh... it's true. I honestly don't need to say this. You just go look at the Wildlands update, all the details are there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think the big update is just being able to say, like, we have confirmed now that we have a ship. We did not get dunked. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, as for the restock, uh, the restock is uh, partially on two the thirds of it or something. Yeah. Two, two out of three containers shipped, and the other one's supposed to ship next week or something. Yeah. They or? ended up not being able to put all of the restock on the boat. So. It's some of it is on the way. The rest of it is hopefully going out next week. So sometime mid to late April. Yeah, that's what we're like. We're looking at like mid to late April for the restock now. Um, Woo! Yeah. Uh, other big news. Uh, we're doing a big switch over with the web store tonight. Um, what are we switching, Chris? We're we switching. We're no longer going to be. Is it like we're no longer going to be shop.dwarvenforge.com? We're going to be just dwarvenforge.com. Yeah, we we did it. We got dwarvenforge.com <laughs> from that um, guy that streamer. From that guy <laughs> that streamed Spider-Man <laughs> PS4 like three well, had, times we, back in yeah, 2019. We, we've been using Shopify for most of our back end, and so it was kind of overriding the URL. I don't know. Johanna's switching it over, so they would be down for tonight for several hours, maybe half the night. I don't know. It's yeah, going store. down at like one, one in the morning, like Eastern time, I believe. If you have, so the, the main thing is, if you have an order open when it goes down, it will like, not like if you have like stuff in your cart, I should say, it'll like, kick that stuff out, and you'll have to like put it back in. So if you've got like, an open cart or something for some reason, so don't start shopping at. Don't start shopping. Don't start shopping at, twelve forty-five in the morning. Uh, tonight is what I would say, basically. Fair. Um, yeah. Uh, basically that. Um, and if you do put in, like, shop.dwarvenforge, it will redirect to the site, so it's not like you have to... Yeah. But just basically that's happening. So if anything happens in the middle of the night tonight, that is, uh... That's what's going on. Woo. We're not We're not under attack or anything. Um... And then we just want to shout out to projects our friends are working on. And I think that's all the news, honestly, unless you can think of something. 
Yeah. No. Um, News is we've got swamps in the house. Swamp in the house. That is fair. We do have a good amount of stuff to do on the table tonight. Uh, and you are getting close to done with prepping that stuff, so let's get through here. Uh, the first thing is... Uh, I know, I could have done this beforehand, huh? But you could have. Well, yeah, we've been doing stuff all day. It's been busy here. Um, our friends at Talon and Claw Woo! are running a Kickstarter. It's the Adventurer's Compendium. It's doing pretty well. I think it just launched. It's still got launched basically yesterday. a full month left. Yeah. Um, let's see. It's a cool vault that holds your, uh, holds your dice, holds your mini, holds a little notepad. They have little clips you can hold your phone on there if you use your phone to track D&D Beyond stats. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. He yeah. said he's going to try, uh, try and get a sample out to us in the next week or two. Oh, awesome. And we could show it in the air. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. I love getting free stuff. I, he's, there's um, a lot that I like about this job, and my favorite thing is getting free stuff. He's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the three times we got something, it was pretty cool. Yeah, he um, he uh, he's trying to he's, he's trying to springboard this, and he has a big Kickstarter planned for July or August, and he's trying to use this to sort of springboard into that, get some learnings from this. So I'm excited to see what happens from him. Yeah, uh, and then the other thing. Uh, one of our friends, uh, Brogan, who runs the channel No Nat Ones, which yeah. I think you'll be familiar with if you play Pathfinder. Um, he's one of the bigger Pathfinder content creators. Uh, he's doing his first Kickstarter with uh, some of uh, some of his collaborators. They're doing a thing called Sinclair's Library, which is uh, a big, especially, but it's it's like a big like source book uh, for stuff that is designed to work with both Pathfinder Second Edition. And D and D five e. Wow. Um, That's and uh, it's not live yet, but they are. Uh, they've got they've got enough on backer kit to be able to sign up for information and stuff like that. Along with information, like they've got like if you look at the backer kit page, they've got like everything that's in it like listed. Um, like classes, there's items, there's a lot of a lot a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, so yeah, if you want to be notified about that and want to have that on your radar to check it out when it goes live, uh, you can get on their mailing list there. Um, yeah. So I think that is, uh, I think that's all the news. All if right. we think of more news later, we'll just say it in the middle of the unboxing, I guess. Um, but uh, Imagine that going off on a tangent. We, this was yeah. honestly, like, it's only 7.15. We, we moved pretty quickly through this. All right, let's, uh, let's start, uh, well, yeah, building, kind of. We're going to be building. Opening up some stuff. There's, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in this Swamp Mega. Um, I feel like... And I've, I've pre-cut all the boxes. I feel like there's still glitter on this tabletop from when we did the... Uh, Distinct possibility. From when we did that, that ziggurat critical role rebuild. And he put, like, all the... Snow... He uh, put, like, all the snow on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, funny story. I was moving... Um, I was moving some of my resin pieces, uh, slowly moving stuff into the attic in a new house. And uh, I was pulling out... The realm of the ancients. And I was like, "Oh man, something spilled all over the." I was like, "Oh no, wait!" Tyler painted the hand of Vecna on four six by six floors, right to the inside of the ziggurat, on the floor. I have those in my at my apartment, though. He did it on dungeon floors. No, he tested it on dungeon floors. He tested it on. I said, oh. I, used, "I said use four of my six by six realm of the ancient resin pieces and just go for it." I'm like, "It's only, it's only going to look good if it's done." Like you got to do it, and so there. I was like, "What's? The, oh yeah." So there's just like this, just like <laughs> head hit on, on some, yeah. Wait, so, you know, sacrifices had to be made in the name of art. Yeah. Wait, Chris is wearing a tie. Yeah, I feel like we mess around too much in the office, so I'm trying to class things up a little bit. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Oh. No, we we honestly like we got a lot of stuff done today. Everybody's got like 401ks now. I don't. I honestly don't know how that works. Uh, I have no idea what a 401k is. It's right after a 400J. That's fair. Yeah. I saw, I saw a tweet earlier where it was just like, when I found out that 401K wasn't them just like giving you $400,000 at the end of the Oh, that's day, hilarious. At the end of your thing, like I just, <laughs> they're like, I quit on the spot. It's like, that's the only reason I wanted a job. Swamp Bank Fonts. All right. So yeah. this was, what we're unboxing here was the mega build, the Swamp mega build. Um, it was everything in swamps, 
uh, including the Fogger and the Boat and Sport Claw and a few Ruins bits and stretch goals and water mats and whatnot. So it's a, just a great, uh, it's a panoply, a cornucopia, a plethora of swamp bits all in one place. Um, and it should be really fun to build out. So what I think I'm actually going to do first, I started opening a bunch of these banks. There are going to be a ton of banks in here because um, everything is highly based on negative space. Let's, uh, let's actually put down some water mats first. Which is honestly why, I think this is the only one of the mega pledges that isn't in three boxes. Yeah. It's in two because like it's negative space and also it is the least vertical of the three. It's it's flat and I think expansive. When we were, I, I think when we were talking about the biomes and like the language to use for them, we were like, yeah, like the whole, like mountains is about like going up, forest is about being dense, and swamps is what? about like expanding and like covering like a wide area with dangerous terrain. And and, it and thus it was. All right, so this is, we have our two by two swamp water texture mats. There's a little tape Are you here. cutting your mat? Oh, it's just the no, tape. No, it's cutting Got the it. tape. I mean, I guess I could have tried to it. So I'll tell you, this was the thing that Tyler discovered today, much to his chagrin, you know, he's wanting me back. There was some sort of miscommunication with the, um, the tube people for packing the thing. So we have what here this appears to be about a foot long tube. And uh, here, what is a two foot long mat, there's something doesn't match here. There's that, so maybe it's like 18 inches or something, but it's, it's, it's definitely short. Oh, there's a grid on here, so I can actually tell. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, so the, two, the, three, basically four, they did five. not use a large enough and dowel. It's not a dowel, I it's guess. A, it's a tube. Tube. Tube is the easy word. Yeah, they didn't. Um, it's it's ten inches shy, so been there. It's <laughs> so it's the the mats are a little wrinkled at the ends. It's really it just uh, I'm it's it's frustrating. But uh, we'll put it in the update on how to uh, how to fight your mats. This one's actually not so bad. Uh, you can put them under something heavy like boxes of dwarvenite. That is that is a nice you thing. You can iron it. We tested that out. Towel. We yeah. had we had Miles test that out. Uh, <laughs> We never released this video. We cut together. I need to show you that. Um, we, we filmed Miles. He put the mats in like a box with a bunch of other stuff and then dropped it a bunch of times to like crease it as badly as possible. Yes. And we were still able to smooth it back out. So uh, the, the, the texture mats should yeah, be pretty easy to... texture. Yeah. It's like a watery awesomeness. Uh, so we have four of these bad boys. So I'm going to just overlap them like crazy so we can have the whole table... Um, That's fair, because you're going to be building them all on top of it. Basically, yeah. with swamps, you're basically always going to be building them on top of a mat. I mean, you might not. Maybe you'd just... You can put them on top of something. a grit, uh, like a mat or something, but a not, battle mat isn't the... Another mat, like a dry erase. Yeah, dry or, erase, or like could, a um, grid paper or something, but... Or just your tablecloth, or you have a flow of tablecloth. I, I also really love the... I love the art on these. I wish it nice. was reading better on camera at this angle, but it is Well, weird. the speculars are... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff always looks different on camera versus the eye, and there's just not really much you can do about it. Oh, that's the, the endless challenge. Even though the human eye can only see in 30 frames per second, so. Maybe yours. <laughs> hey, that's why it, every time we go to conventions, people are like, oh man, this stuff's so cool to see. I didn't realize how... Is this gridded? Yes, this is gridded. I can barely yeah. make out the grid on the... It's uh, there, but it's, uh, it's subtle. Uh, appropriately subtle. Yes. Um, so subtle that the uh, the the T is pronounced. Charles says his were super folded, but they flattened out. Oh, did you already get texture mats? Woo! Is that NPC Charles? Probably just roll that inside another battle mat. That's yep. entirely possible. Uh, let's see. Need my 120 FPS games. I'm not, okay. See, I get how that I get <laughs> how that works because of it's a scam. It's a scam. No, the 30 FPS thing is just one of my favorite memes somebody like genuinely made that argument at one point when they were talking about like frame rate in games yeah. for, not, not even in games but like they were talking about like like cinema and <laughs> saying there's no reason to like shoot Do films anything. in 60 frames per second because the human eye can only see 30 <laughs> it was, how'd that go for them oh badly they, yeah. they got they got destroyed in the quote retweets it wasn't even it was bad. It the was internet, really bad. Uh, the internet giveth, and uh, the internet also. Uh, the internet taketh. mostly taketh away. It mostly taketh. Mostly taketh away. <laughs> it's a, it's a lot of taketh. 
It giveth cat videos and it taketh everything else. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, All right. So I'm I'm collapsing these because this is only a three by three table. You can overlap them, but you could we could we could have four by four. That is true. Yeah, shit. these are these are two by two. The mega pledge is made to cover a four by four area. Yeah. Do we have a four by four tabletop here? Uh, we use two two by fours to okay. make a four by four. Right. Maybe I should have done. Ah, eh, well, too late. You know, on that note, I gotta remind Miles that we're gonna need to we're get our the, modular we, table 2.0 we'll up and running four for four cities. Yeah. Yes. This Why? was this the <laughs> modular tabletop that we're using right now. I built with Selena before Hellscape. It was caverns deep. Jeez. Yeah, we, we, deep. we've we've had. It was these. just like a quick. I was like, oh, we're just gonna use this for this week for this shoot, and then. You know, we'll make something better, and it's been however many years that is, five years later or something. It's, yeah. Boy, this one is is muy rinculado. I didn't know you spoke German. Yeah, I've been yeah. practicing. Nice. To, I want to join the EU. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can people can do that? Yes. <laughs> That's how it works. If yeah. you can speak German, you're <laughs> allowed to join the EU. Right. Also, individual people yeah. join the EU, yeah. not, not just countries. I have yeah. an EU citizenship. Yeah, it's a union. I've been, I've been right. Like I've, it's a, you pay your union dues, and it's you're like in a the credit. Thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like Red Canoe. Do they have that here? Like, or is that just a Washington? Uh, how about Ayatsi, the 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 Teamsters, the union, the, the Teamsters union. union. Oh, you're yeah. talking about that. SAG. Thing. How about SAG? I was thinking about credit unions, but yeah, like yeah, it's credit. Unions. Yeah. All right, so basically, the swamps. So you take banks and you build them on, uh, you build them on something negative space. Like in this case, dirty swamp water, and now you have a uh, you have a thing. So let's get, we don't have any uh, outside. This is all inside curves and banks straight. So let's get, to, let's find some more banks and start <laughs> building some. Hey, what should we build? <laughs> what? Re Rabbit, Burner. Rabbit. Rabbit, Rabbit Burner said, so do I, Nate, in regards to wanting to join the EU. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Rabbit. <laughs> it's a good, oh. this, is a, this is a good, this is a good night for comedy. How is it? <laughs> Well, that's, we could use that change of pace. Greg's asking it. why I'm so fancy, and I'm just saying I want to class don't up the. Don't uh, tell anybody. Just pretend you shouldn't even acknowledge. I'm not telling it. anybody because I don't want oh. you to know. It was like um. Nate doesn't even know. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, swamp yay. My 40k swamp table will be amazing. I would love to see war games on the swamp tray because yes. I don't think there's not a lot of swamp options out there. There's not a lot of swamp shins. Swamp shins. Um, you know, uh, you know where my home game is going next. Swamp, <laughs> like hey, or or the forest or both. I'm or maybe, saying it. I'm uh, saying somewhere it in the wilderness. As um as as swamp gets and maces in chat, so she'll hey, she, she's Mace. she's tied into this as well. Wait, are maces folks here though? Uh, probably they're always here. Because it's you know, um, we see mace every day, but it's maces. Mace's uh, dad is where the party's at. Yes. Yeah. Oh, mace's dad. Unbelievable. I wish he was my dad. Uh, I, would, I would not replace my dad for anything. As the swamp stuff gets delivered, the first one of you happen. to make a good uh, Shrek build oh, no. will get a special shout out on Twitter. We will post that build. And, uh, what and Define a Shrek build. It's got to be a swamp. Like you, you've got to have, you got to have like his, you have to have, you have to like work out like Shrek's house and maybe like the little outhouse, get a little Shrek. outhouse for it. Um, some kind of ogre. Get a get a get a reaper ogre, and then like craft the little cloth outfit for him to make it's a little, little vest. Shrek. He's a classy vest. Classy vest. He's like you. I Shrek was probably my most done Halloween costume when I was a child. Hmm. Yeah, I was very I was very into Shrek. Was I'm very into Shrek. Shrek build challenge. Yes. Accepted. Yes. Uh, Mace is going to clip our conversation about her parents and send it to them. That's exciting. All right. So well, we should we should we should mention we should mention her mom then too. We should Although I feel like you, <laughs> it just sounds rude when you start talking about someone's mom. But Mace's mom is a delightful lady. Yeah. And you know how you know? She raised Mace. I that mean, look fair. at look, at, look I, how Mace I, turned out. I met them briefly, and yeah. it was one of those situations where you see them, and you're just like, this but, explains. Mace. So much. This explains Mace. Well, they were drunk too. Oh, when they were. Was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they had bought. Folks. They had bought um, these little. <laughs> they bought these little hamburger pillows. Hamburger pillows. <laughs> they were showing up. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they were great. 
Oh, these swells. These are Mace's parents are exactly what you'd expect, and it's great. All right, so we got a uh, we got a whole a whole uh, maybe more. We need almost enough banks. armada of banks to do something with. I got to figure out what we're doing here. Um, I mean, making swaps. I know, but we're not like, gonna be able to put it all on the table simply because we don't have four by four. No, I'm going to put it all on the table. One thing I do want to <laughs> going all in. It's all on Am the I table. All in the way well, then? so here's the thing. Do you want to? Build out from the edges and corners and have them just swap in the middle, or do you want to have a big center island? I think I want to have a big center thing. Okay. I don't know. Ask what, what do the people want? Oh. What do you want to see? Yeah, is there is there anything Look you want to see us try to build as we as we open this stuff? Wow, um, factory paint on the swamp Saranus looks really good. This guy I love the Saranus. Saranus. Yeah. Look at that, bro. It's one of my favorite plant sculpts. That thing is gross. Psionic succulent from the shadow fell. And then this guy was the uh, the bone bloom, which is like the happy clam plant because he like he's like the gravity claws. It looks like he has big hands. He's like, hey, just I just want to give you a hug and make you happy. It fits him. He in fits him in. Yeah. Yeah. He can this also like, pop like these of the last off. Ones we have done right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna maybe we make. You know what we're gonna make? Here's what we're gonna make. Magic. Well, Chris, we make magic every day. It's our job. We're gonna make. That's why, that's why we're I'm gonna make to work. a hag's garden. A hag's garden. A okay. Hag's garden, right? Because like they think they love so we things that like are a, ugly or beautiful. So the center island is just like where they cultivate all the plants. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be their like little nicely all li nicely lined up. Yeah, we're gonna have like a little hag's garden. Uh -huh. Great idea, chat. Thanks. <laughs> if you need swamp inspiration, you can play Elden Ring. There's like 20 swamps in that game. Spoilers. I'm planning to play Elden Ring in like I three kind years. Of, what is it? Does it work on the PlayStation 3? Can I? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Sorry. You can't buy. Okay. <laughs> they're maybe still putting FIFA on the PlayStation 3, but like, or just Dance, a... but no, PlayStation 3 has been done for a while. Mine still works. What are you talking about? I. I just showed hmm. my kids. This weekend, Pixel Junk Monsters. Hey, Pixel Junk, a, Pixel Junk's pretty good. They're amazing. Yeah. They, it's a tower defense, two-player co-op tower defense game where you little monsters you run and you have to dance in these towers to make them upgrade, and it's like, it's amazing. And it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's from like 2007 or something, but it still works, that game. It's plant amazing. and tree paint guides? Uh, you don't need to ask Nate for that. Uh, I can tell you a plan with that. Tomorrow, what, so uh, currently, Aaron and... Hamster, uh, nice. just finished uh, writing out and getting the stuff together to make the ruins and Aranthor Mountain PDFs. And so uh, wow. those are in production. And then tomorrow we're filming the video versions of the, we're filming the runes video and the mountain video. And then uh, after that, now that we finally have the swamp in office and we're opening them right now, uh, we needed the swamp stuff to get here so we would have all the rest of the plants and stuff. And then we are going to make a uh, reference guide that is uh, the plants and trees and accessories. Um, we're not going to do a full video for all of it simply because... There's so much stuff, it would be, it, it would take ages. Uh, but we're gonna make a reference guide that's gonna be like, here is the, um, here's the, the paint we use for the base, here's the accent, here's the, just like tell you like what you need to do it, and then like any important information, uh, in, in, anything you need to keep in mind uh, for it. So it won't be, it won't be a step-by-step in-depth thing simply because it's way too much to, to do that for all those. Um, but it'll at least start you on your path. Yeah. Well, the, the dragon. I think we're going to include the the minis in there as well. Um, wow. This is an ambitious project. Yeah. It's so it might take us a while to get together because it's it's going to be like thirty to forty things in there probably. But we had to we had to get the swamp stuff before we could uh, before we could do it. Um, but they've now finished. After tomorrow they will have done all the rest of the painting stuff, and so we can just start focusing on making the that companion PDF. All right, so guess good news is I have basically all the banks unpacked now. So we have... Yes. That's what we need in one of this. Whoa, no, that's too far. Whoop, that's over there. Oh. I've got right 
and left swells. Let's see. All right, these guys, let's go. Which gets offset you a little bit. We've got the big corners and the little corners. We've got swells, swells, swells. Oh, the huge. Look at that. The little. Did you just try to snap it? I was just trying to bend it out a couple, but the little, little con concave and the big concave. It's one of the best. This one originally was going to, uh, the branch was going to be removable, but it was too much. Uh, it was going to be too fiddly. I didn't and, know that. That's way yeah. too much. Yeah, it was going to be. That was an Eli. Uh, and we have the diagonal, which has a, um, has a nice um, two-drop insert hole for you. You can, you can put some inserts in there, or you can put stuff on top. Why not? We'll see what we do with that. And let's see, we got the long, straight, and short, straight. Woo. Grid hidden in there, right? Delineated generally by plants or rocks. So square there, square where this puddle is, square here. See how this stick has got a nice little right angle so you get the edge of the thing? So square there, square in the rock, square here in the slump, square here, square here. Right there, so hidden in there. And when in doubt, if you if you're having a hard time finding them, just get a tape measure. <laughs> I use a tape measure all the time, and just to speed things up. Particularly because if like we're doing weird z-axis and whatever, I just like I just pull out the tape measure and rough it to just keep things moving. And when in doubt, you can always just default to rule of cool. Yeah. So like, should they be allowed to do this? Like, yes. You're gonna be let five feet stop them from doing a cool thing. No. Like, Whatever. This, uh, Factory paint looking good on swamps? Yeah. yeah. The scheme definitely seems to be something they're able to well, do. Well, here's the thing is we, we learned from the original Dread Hollow that we had too many steps and too many colors and they weren't able to consistently reproduce it. Some of them looked fantastic and some of them were an absolute train wreck and some everywhere in between. So we, we simplified the paint scheme a little bit. Aaron agonized over trying to do something that would work really well. And we got something that they've been very consistent. Like this, the results are just wonderful. Yeah. Um, and the, the, that's, that's the nice thing is like, we can, we can, we feel much more comfortable guaranteeing that your stuff is going to look like this. It's, it will look like this. Yeah. yeah. It, Every time. Is, yeah. Dread Hollow is all over the place. Yeah. So this, this end, uh, this end cap is with a double, double end cap. Originally, I had a large and a small of this because I figured people are going to be making a lot of little islands and stuff. And you had to quickly, like using, you started using up all of these too much having to do forever. So I was like, oh, we have to have like these two island cappers and then you can connect them or can whether we ended up cutting them for pieces or whatever, but um, we kept this one. The other one had a tree on it, like had a stump and it was a little larger. And they were designed to nook with other things and whatnot, but yeah, we didn't need it. So, but this thing is had, oh, also I forgot the, the uh, these guys, the transition these things are absolute gold. So they are um, little transition banks. They get you, uh, you can use them as like an end cap. You can use them together as an alternate straight. Um, but also they transition into the trifecta ledges if you want to use the trifecta ledges mixed with the banks. Um, they work nicely with your uh, existing banks. So they're just, these things I, I ended up using all over the place. They were just a little fixed piece that suddenly just became useful for everything. Uh, I think those are all the banks, and I got a ton of them. And then, did I show the floor? Yeah, this is a three by three floor. All right, so we have enough, enough stuff to start working with with something. Uh, so I'm thinking, I think I'm going to try and rim this whole thing with banks, and then it'll be like maybe a couple of cultivated pools, and like maybe there's like a central island. Or something where the main garden is, with sort of irrigated out with these I things. Maybe like wants to get a close up on the three by three floor if we can. Hey, Amy, how you doing? You know what? She's probably going to do some crazy paint scheme. That's what she's saying. She wants to be yeah. able to see all of them so she can uh, replicate I the. I cannot paint. wait. Like her, her, she has the most creative. Like just, you can, you know what? You can feel the love in her paint schemes. Yeah. Like she just is in. It's such a, I, I can't wait to see what you do with this. I can put this blade away so I don't hurt myself Ooh. or others. Um, oh, maybe I should, well, no, let's we'll start with the banks. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna let's, let's um, fill this thing up. Uh, Big Bad Booty Man is uh, one, uh, saying, got two floor foggers, one works perfectly, the other won't turn on. Is there anything he should double check to see if it's broken or should he just the ask customer batteries? support? 
Check batteries. You think they mm -hmm. got dud batteries or something? Try also plugging it in with the USB and see if it'll run plugged in with the USB. Wait, does that have the USB? It does, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you would have gotten um, a bogger with this pack. So. Yeah. And if if uh, if that doesn't work, uh, contact customer service and we'll get you a new one. Sorry, it's not working. Yeah. Let's see. And good question. <laughs> see um just checking to make sure i didn't miss anything i'm you know i'm juggling between trying to run camera and also watching the stuff here so if i miss a question and being suave and being suave although um, when you're dressed like that it's easy to be suave so that part. oh well there may be a video to go with it we're not planning on doing a video for the trees and plants we might do like an advice video that's just like here's general rules but like there's so many of those that to individually cover each one in a video would be massive uh yeah. So we're not planning on doing like a video where we go over every tree or anything, but we might, we might do like a like a general tips and advice uh, video. The other one that um, Hamster was talking about was like a punch up video, like how to how to give your pieces some pop. Right. That could like, be fun. So maybe we just hmm. if you want to, you know, you've got the factory painted pieces. Here's some things you could do to like give them a little let's, zhuzh. Let's um, get this. Let's get the stuff that we need to get done yeah. out of the way and then see. Because then also people yeah. who are painting from scratch can use that yeah. too. We are doing the runes, yes. We're actually shooting the runes video tomorrow. Both runes and mountains are being shot tomorrow. And then hopefully editing won't take very long and we will get those out. Oh, uh, short here. Hmm. All right. In well. a week or two? How did I manage to... Just miss the whole edge of the table. <laughs> uh, let's see. Some other like people want the pop video. Is there a reason to be concerned adding resin water effects? I don't think so. No, it'd be great. Yeah, especially it, that three by three floor. You do in that little puddle. I think it's what they were oh, talking about. Yeah. Is like popping it in there. Yeah. Do you know if container two? Do you know if container two and three are done shipping yet? That would be the start yes. of the mountain stuff. They I think be. they are. They should be. They've been shipping for a while. But also there's some mountain stuff, like a bunch of mountain stuff. We ran out of mountain stuff because the rest of it was on that wounded container. So oh. you could have, that could be, you know, your stuff could be sitting or it could be waiting for that wounded container to show up. That also is anyway. one thing. Like the shipping manifest says like these, these packs are coming in this container and stuff. It's not that one to one. Like sometimes it's like, oh, we ran out of space here. So there's actually some overflow of Wyverstone Peak in this container as well but they only listed like the main container it's in, like where most of them are. So if you didn't get something that's listed as being in one container, it's possible that it's because there's more of it in a different container that hasn't arrived yet. Um, usually it would be the following container. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. But if you, did they, if they, if they haven't received anything at all and they didn't ask for a single shipment, then maybe you could be a little worried, but yeah. Uh, you can always contact customer support if you're, uh, um, if you want to check in on something. Uh, asked this earlier, you probably didn't see it. At the end of the month, I'll have a few hundred to spend on Dwarven Forge Cavern sets. What would you really? suggest I get? It could be core or expansion. Uh, do we have the core coming back in the mid April restart? Core and advanced core for sure. Yeah. Um, I would say wait for the restock to hit mid mid to late April, hopefully mid-April, um, because that's when a bunch of the cavern stuff will be back. Uh, right now, a lot of it's sold out. Um, we do know the container from the Madrid Bridge is okay. We got confirmation today or yesterday that it is safe. It is on the way to the warehouse. We did not lose that container. Yay! Um, there's much rejoicing. Let's see. Uh, but Bab yeah, Babby Nuts, what I would say is it depends on what you've got already for caverns. Um, and what you're looking to build, what yeah. your style is, what... Uh, if you don't have any, though, like I really feel like it's impossible mega. to go wrong with getting a... Mega. A, yeah, a mega core or a core in advanced. Or the, just the core sets are a good starting point for anything in caverns. And then it's like... What 
what specialty sets, what expansions do you want to get based on what kind of stuff mm. you're trying to make? Do you want to make a mushroom grotto? Do you want to make yes? Uh, do you want to make like acid pools? So you want yes. to get some banks to go down into the. The yeah. answer is all of it. Yeah, but yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh, probably worth a quick container survived Kickstarter update. Maybe. Do we? Maybe we wait and see. Let's wait till it lands in the factory. Or the the fa warehouse. Also, we could wait because hopefully in the next week or two we'll have the shipping really booked and locked in for the rest of the world stuff. So we'll be able to say that that stuff is yeah. happening too. Happily on yeah. route. And... Let's 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 wait and see. Let's wait and see if this if the European container. Is allowed to stay on the boat that we have. <laughs> oh man, not don't even. <laughs> if, it gets, if it gets bumped off, I There's... swear to God, the amount of times There's... we've that been bumped is, off yeah. a boat is so frustrating. It's the this kind of terrible new shipping reality. Like it's been really frustrating. Oh man, uh, let's, let's see. Straight. Da, 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 da. Hmm, I've somehow managed to run out of. I think in the update though we we didn't say that we were unsure about the container because we were assuming it was going to be okay. Um, I don't remember. The, the way it was wrote that the part, way the way it was it. written is it was like we're eagerly awaiting the container yeah. that came from Madrid Bridge. So I think it'd be more of a thing of like if we did lose the container, I think that would be where it's like that would be an We need to say something right. because this is not what we expected. Um, <laughs> That is definitely not what we expected. Um, let's see. Do we know if the Caverns Core are in the first half? Yes. No. They are I don't know. not. They are. I can't believe we've sold out. I'm looking at the list. Okay, so they're supposed to be coming. Yeah, so all the Caverns Core stuff is supposed to be coming on the second and potentially third ship, if it ends up getting oh. split onto a third. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is not coming in this first one from what I'm seeing. But hopefully there will only be like a week apart, and so we'll just combine them into one big restock. Yay. We'll have to see what happens with shipping. Boo. Let's see. Will there be a mega restock or will there be two waves? It depends on how split they are. If for some reason the rest of the restock gets held up for three weeks before it gets a boat, then we'll probably release... The Kraken? Yes. Yes, um, finally. <laughs> yeah. But if, like they're, but if they're within... If they're like a week apart, it's probably fine. Um, let's see. All right, I got, I don't know why that's not lined up, but good enough. All right, so I have a bunch of, I can't even get this whole thing in on the, uh, where am I? Yeah. All right, we have like, oh, it's a Bye, Mace. Wrinkle. So we See. have I sort of, cr did the whole outside with these, got, with the uh, banks, let me sort this out. We have a few, don't have a ton of banks left, but, ooh. Ooh, 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 we can build something fun with this guy. I do like that the Sorrow Nest, the way that the base of the Sorrow Nest is sculpted, it actually looks fine coming out of the water instead of being on land. Yeah. Yeah, it's it can happily kind of sit in any uh, on any surface. Kraken Mini confirmed. I, I don't know if it would be a Mini at that point. I don't know if you can do a Kraken and have it not be massive. I'll tell you, the, um, the trend for... Ridiculously large minis is really uh, something. I feel like it's what we do better too. Like our the Wildlands minis are so cool, but, but also none of them are actually mini big. size. Oh, but they're not even that big compared to like compared to some of the like the, the dragons that they've been making. Uh, now. And it's like giant tarasks and like I feel like everybody yeah. is like just you know is making just bigger and bigger stuff. Um, which is good because you need more terrain to put it on. Yeah. Uh, DF minis are all getting bigger too. Missing the normal size DF mini packs like Kobolds. Um, we'll, we might have something like that for 
Stick around for cities. Yeah, I think for Wildlands it just didn't make sense to do, because Wildlands was all about just like these big massive, beasts. Everything, uncivilized... everything was was yeah. larger and more savage. Than... It was about yeah, it was about being huge. Um, but with cities, yeah, we they got... need to be appropriately sized to go in those doors. <laughs> <laughs> we got you covered. Yeah. Is. I really mm -hmm. okay. So we got There's a bunch no of way. I I think my dream thing is I would love for us to do like a bunch of uh, Sagan. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. But I'm just like well, with the doctor's trick. We already have the lizard folks, so, cool. so like. No, but I, I don't know. I really like Sagan. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Domestic krakens to delivery containers. Domestic krakens. Domestic krakens. Domesticated krakens. The best kind. Yeah. All right, so we got they just some, help around the house. We got some things. Okay. Bullywugs, gonna... anyone? That'd be fun. We just make a bunch of grung. I no. No grung? Nope. You're not a big grung guy? They're silly. They're just, they're like. What's wrong with silly? This is why you don't little... like Mykonids either, right? Because you're just like, oh, they're too silly. Grung are even sillier than Mykonids. Sure, but what's wrong with. This is why, man, I. Hmm. This is a game of serious dungeons and serious dragons. There. I know, this is why you don't like Spelljammer, which is ridiculous. Oh. Is Orion Noir here? Uh, is Orion Noir here? I don't I haven't seen Speaking a message from him. He might be ham I think jammer. he usually has Sorry. I think he's usually busy on, on the Amel Nights, he usually gets here late. Um Cause that so. Orion Noir story is amazing. Uh, alright, let's open some more stuff. So we've got Wanna hear Nate do a Kermit the Frog impression? Hi ho, this is uh, Kermit the Frog here. That is way coming better from than I expected. The, coming from the center of the uh, Bleak Mirror, Bleak Mirror Swamp. Bleak Mirror. <laughs> that is way better than the I expected, one, one true thing is it's pretty easy to be green here because everything else is green. <laughs> that, the, I did not expect you. Uh, yeah, I was, ex I was expecting to be a train wreck. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you would. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I thought, I thought you would yeah. either. I thought you would either refuse to do it. Or oh, I love doing it. Be like, stupid uh, voices. Hello. <laughs> I, you know, fun fact. Ooh, this is a good one. I worked with um, back in the advertising days. Oh, I do have a bunch of floors. Oh, this changed everything. Uh, I worked with a guy who was the um, runner-up voice for when Jim Henson died for doing the Kermit the Frog voice, and he uh, he lost out to uh, Jim Henson's son. So go figure. Um, but he could do a really, really good Kermit the Frog. Masticon's like calling you out, saying that uh, none of the games he's ever seen you run would classify as serious. <laughs> what? What? Swamp, the swamp needs a barge. Ooh, there should be one in mm -hmm. there. We'll, we'll get to it. We we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think I've ever run anything deadly serious. And uh... Kermit's one of my best impressions too. I look. I. I can't do very many impressions, and the ones I can do are, like, stuff that nobody wants to hear, which is frustrating. Hmm. Not, not in, like, the nobody cares about the character way, but just in, like, a, this is painful to listen to. <laughs> like Toad. Like, my ears are burning. Yeah. Toad from the X-Men? No, but that would be so much better. Toad from Mario. I don't... I, wait, I played Super Mario or the Elmo. first one. Like, I can do Elmo really well, but Elmo's, like... Not nice to listen to. No. Like. No. Yeah. Uh, Toad from Mario. Toad from Mario. I, I he's been there since the beginning. No, he was not in Super Mario Brothers. Yes, he. Yes, he nope. was. No. Nope. Your princess is in another castle. Oh, that little thing. He doesn't talk though. He just has. Well, nobody had nobody voices. On, yeah. Nobody had voices on the NES. Okay. Well, there you go. Toad has been there since the beginning. Um, do a toad impression? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> but what does his voice even sound like? Nobody knows. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. When does toad speak? Newer games. Well, so like none of the Mario characters ever speak. It's mostly them just like shouting like things, more or less. Yeah, like, in, in sports games, they'll like do a thing. Sports like, games. Yeah. Like where like Wario, Wario had like, oh, I missed, and like stuff like that. And with toad, it's just like. Yeah, yeah just like a lot of, just a lot of stuff like that. It's, yeah. Um, Thanks. Who's on the cartoon? That is fair. In the cartoon, they talked more because they had to. 
Um, <laughs> that would be a really uh, interesting thing. Okay, let's next. Yeah. Um, let's. Oh, I've been more things. Wait, there's a lot of stuff. Toad from X Men was Darth Maul. Wait, really? Yeah. Huh. Ray Park. You know who else's career is like really fun to follow is Carrie Elvis. What did he do since Princess Bride? <laughs> he was the. Um, he was the like. Uh, how was it? Liar, liar. In Liar, Liar, he was like the. Uh, the guy that Jim Carrey's ex was with now, who was like, just the, oh, super nice, just likable guy in like the way where you just hate him. Like, that was, yeah, that was, uh, that was him. Hmm. Uh, he was just in Stranger Things? I didn't even know that. Really? Yeah, I feel like he's had like a very random career. Um. He, in, he was in Stranger Things? Hey, there's yeah. a new, uh, the new one's coming, right? I need to, the final season, yeah. I need to watch Stranger Things. Oh. He was also, he, he, and he, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Microphone, is it for Oh, it fell off? Uh oh. I will mute it while you get that fixed. Um. Oh. Has it been off, like, the whole time? I don't know. Huh. What's up, everyone? Get out of my swamp. He was in Twister as the bad guy. It's fine. Honestly, like, I don't. It didn't seem. It didn't seem anything like the game to me. And like, I. Uh, I All don't right, know. So not, not one of the better. <laughs> we got a. Uh, we got a hole null here. This. Uh, who is it? Somebody posted a a hole null null hole. On Twitter. So, oh, who was it on Twitter? And if you're in the really, if you're in the chat, uh, tell us who. It was really good. I I think we like, retweeted it, so I'll I'll look back through that real quick. Yeah. The whole no no hole. Whole no no hole. Yeah, this thing just dynamite. And maybe we'll make it. Maybe we'll take this nice crystal out and make it a bath. You gotta or pay something. the troll to hold the good we'll inside the With no that, hole. We've got um. We're showing us. Wait, wait. Some of the creepy trees have come out. The slinkers mm. here somewhere. Look at this guy. That is pretty. And the uh, the black rot. I love the black rot tree. That might be my favorite tree. It's real nice. You got our little uh, projecting roots, so you can do your Dagobah roots. Technical term. Maybe we'll put them in here. Uh, you know it's in here somewhere. It's just... We'll have to put something. Uh, we'll put somebody on top of that. I don't know what yet. Somebody will find it. All right, well, you've got, what else we have here? Was was it, did I find this longer ago than I thought. Uh, let's see. Just a few days ago, I thought. Uh, could Nate show off the DoD elevation platform thing? That works with the swamp, right? Oh, man. I, you know what? I pulled, I pulled one out, and it's sitting on my workbench at home ready to show, except I'm not at home. I'm, or not, not even at home, new so, home. I'm so we'll do new, it next week? Yeah. I literally, I, I, I pull it out. I was like, oh, I got to make sure I have this. And um, yeah, it was Andy Demps posted the null hole. Yes, Andy. Null hole, null. Hole, null hole, hole null, null hole. Force didn't have the clear plastic piece with the hole null. Was Force supposed to? Yeah, if you're missing it, uh, send a yes. picture to customer support. It's definitely come with this. Yeah. With that whole crystal. It's supposed to be like melted wyverstone flattened out. Um, it's particularly key if you put uh, the light puck under there. Oh man, the thing that. Toby and um, Miles are doing with the light puck right now. They're adding additional programs. It's so, I'm so excited yeah. to. Uh, I'm really excited to reveal that stuff. Speaking of the light puck, uh, Brutal Casperol? Brutal Casperol uh, is asking if the light pucks are shipping in April. Um, they're in, a, I think they're ready to ship. They're in the eighth, just getting a they're in eighth them, container. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're doing like, the last thing. It's goes. like the individual light pucks and then also like the add on packs that are just like the light puck in a piece. Yeah. Um, so this will be the last thing to ship. And I think they're yeah. sitting there in a container just waiting for passage. Yeah. Yeah. So they should be shipping really soon. Well, to, they should be coming us. here be the, and then the to you is a whole other. It yeah. sh they should, theoretically, they should be very shortly after the rest of the stuff. I cannot wait for people to get their hands on those. Like, the cool, the interactive. So basically, Toby and Miles right now are programming a bunch of 
very interactive programs where like there's, it starts with kind of a, a base state and then there's sometimes three buttons like that yeah. trigger different states, it's, toggle it's, on and off. It's like, really cool because oh, it's so basically good. you can set the way you can, I'm very excited for some people here who are like programmers to like oh, start they're gonna be, stuff Oh, it's going to be outrageous. Because uh, yeah, like the way you can set it up. So you have like kind of passive effects that like is like this is the program that runs, and then you also get like an effect button. You hit that, and it does like a special effect, and then goes back to like, or like the the pattern will keep running underneath it and all that. It's like yeah. Miles is like making one that is like an eye, and he it made an effect for it that like will shut and like open, and it's like it's 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 really, really cool. wild. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, yeah, uh, it's there. I'm really the toolbox. The, the kind of effects toolbox that it's going to deliver people. We should, maybe next week we can show off some of the stuff. Because mixing and matching it with the Phantasmal filters and then various toppers and the programs, like, it's it's really fun. Like, they're doing a couple of programs that are specifically for some of the Phantasmal filters. And they're doing, um, yeah. they're, uh, it's going to be, it, people are going to be really excited. Like yeah. It's, it's um, a really a great bunch of stuff. The programming software is like actually pretty accessible too. Like I've played around with it a little bit, and Miles and Toby, and we'll be ha we'll be making a guide to help you get into it too if it's something you're interested in learning how to do. Um, but also, yeah. it'll work as you know, it'll work out of the box. It's gonna come so. with it's gonna come with a bunch of stuff out of box. But just if you then want to make your own custom stuff, you can. Yeah, and um, also a thing we can add we can add more programs and upload them, so you can download new stuff. Out of the cloud. For for rest of world, their light pucks are being packed in with the stuff that's going out now, right? I believe so. Yeah, so they're not like the light pucks won't be separate for rest of world. I believe so. I can get confirmation on that, but that was that's yeah. been my that's been my understanding. I think this everything point. is getting yeah. bundled up and shipped, so it's all one. Yeah. Fell swoop. That's the plan with rest of world. It's just because of the how this was our only custom reprint everything is. in Wildlands yeah. was this gnarled tree. Which fits in really nicely, particularly in the swamp here. And it was really hard to get in Dread Hollow. Like you could only get one with the cave entrance. So, and it has a new. Uh, the leaves are just slightly different colors, so it feels different. You already have some. Oh yeah, we got rocks. Is the restock list correct, and that it won't be till May or June till the Caverns Core Mega Pack is available again? Yeah, I think the Mega is being restocked after the others. I think it might have been like a space thing with. The container. Uh, it's the banana boat. We had to like, because we can't, if we, because we basically have to plan our restocks to fill a container because we, we don't want to rent a whole container to have like a little bit of stuff in it. Yeah. And so I think it was a thing where it's like, we had to cut something to fit it into the container. And it's like, okay, we'll push the mega pack back mm. and that will ship in the next container. Um, but the other caverns cores are coming in the, should be here in April. It's a little stump lump. One. We originally had these, um, there were all these cool undercuts where the water could, like these roots were, they wasn't filled in, they were open space, so like water could come under, and the factory was like, you guys are just killing us, like it's, there's so much harder to mold and cast, so we filled those in. There was a situation like that with the runes too. Yeah, there was a tiny little hole passed through on those arches that was just murder. Which is fair. That, that's like the thing. Like every undercut makes a mold so much more complicated. And then when you have multiples and different, different areas. Is it giveaway really... time? It is. Is it um, already? Woo! Any chance the software will have an API so we can make a plugin to trigger things with a stream deck or something? Not currently, Not but that's currently. on that's yeah. on Beconics. Like I don't know. Maybe they'll. That's a thing we can bring up and see if that's possible. I don't know if they're going to be down for having an API. I'll have to check with them. I am not educated. So I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. Just clip that one, Mace. Yeah, I don't know what it, Mace is gone. Oh, that's okay. why, that's why I feel comfortable being, like, being myself <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't know entirely what it, would, what it would involve on their end, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ask, because we've got communication open with them, so I'll ask yeah. and see if it's a thing we can do. Um, they're, they're, they're been, they've been working on this for a while. They're going, they're con yeah. continuing to roll out improvements and new features, like, do Toby and Miles are using beta features right you, now in the new stuff. Do you sell the tablecloth layouts you have shown here? Yes, these mats are in uh, our Wildlands stuff that is shipping out right now, and they'll be going into the store along with everything else you see on the table in probably late May. It depends on when everybody gets their stuff. 
once our Kickstarter backers have their stuff, then we put it up on the web store and you can get it then. Yes. So this is a preview. If you didn't back the Kickstarter, this is a preview of what's to come. If you did back the Kickstarter, this is a preview of what you might be getting if you ordered the Swamp stuff. Man, it's still coming. We got a... We're... Uh, oh, more... Can we get a container of just Stairway to Violence? I, we got to find a way to get the Stairway back. Such an iconic... We've Jeez. kicked around some ideas and stuff. It's just executing on it. It's we've got so many priorities to juggle. <laughs> it's just figuring out like when is it time to like that when was the time thing, to hold them decided, and when's the time to fold them. Like with this next restock coming in, like that was the thing where we were like, because of the nature of Hellscape and its casting color and everything, like we need to pull That's the trigger on just like doing a big Hellscape thing. Uh, yeah. All right. So this. So we've got we got more. Jeez, I'm, I'm running out of trash space here. I thought ahead this time. I didn't just like go in like an animal and like explode everything everywhere. Yeah, yeah. it is 8 o'clock. We need a giveaway word, and then I will keep answering questions. Um, oh, yes. We have a big dead tree. Woo. That's a big dead tree. Ah. And a small dead tree. That's a small dead tree. Uh, and also the little, where's the, the smallest of all? Then there's the, there's the stump topper with just the one little branch. It's kind of like a creepy hand. Eli did all this That's neat stuff hand. where the... Yeah. Like there's, you know, it could be a hand, maybe it's a thing, or maybe it's just swamp that, you know, like the classic thing in the movie. Like Everybody wants the giveaway word to be thing. swamp, which makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to put that in. If you want to enter this giveaway, it's a $50 gift Quagmire. card. Quagmire. Perfect. Quag you want to be Quagmire instead? <laughs> just make it harder. For okay. <laughs> Type, if you want to enter this giveaway, it's a $50 digital gift card to Quagmire. the Dwarven Forge online store. You can win this no matter where in the world you live. Uh, just type swamp. We'll roll it in a couple minutes. Um, What is that? It's a, dead, it's a dead tree. Oh, it's a dead tree. Yeah. I'm making it's a uh, dead tree on a stump lump. Stump lump. One of my favorite names ever. Oh, forgot this would bury the questions we had with people typing swamp. Oops. I always forget that happens. Uh, it's scrolling back up. When do we get the Royal Stronghold back in stock? Never. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's pretty impossible to restock for us honestly yeah those ones that have a bazillion different pieces and is it possible to get a pack of just hollow hedges Ooh, look at those trees. maybe what do we have we have it in the it's not tangled turf pack we have it in a couple plant packs don't we <laughs> tangled turf the is razor JK vine Rowling. and what? nettle gorse it's what 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 <laughs> the can we get a pack of just the what i Tangled turf. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Got it. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, we have the hollow hedges in. They're in some of those plant. They're in at least one of the plant they're, plants. Yeah. I can't remember where. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're gonna do a pack of just the hollow hedges. It would be. Well, they kind of because they work. You can drop those in a city. You can drop those. Like they really yeah. kind they, of. They, they might be. We might do a pack that has hedges and a couple other like. Yeah. Couple other things, topiary pack. Wow. When is our next Kickstarter? September, uh, hopefully. Yeah. So we're, we penciled in arbitrarily September fifteenth, which is like a Thursday or something. I don't know. It's yeah. like a, but somewhere we said the middle of September is our target right now. Yeah, but there's a lot up in the air based on how development goes. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that swamp topper, stump topper. Oh, got a little hole in there. It could be a little critter. It could be a critter. You could have more dead trees. We're Tune in Lots every of Thursday. Dead, uh, dead stuff. Oh, I forgot about this guy. What? Oh, nice. And I also this street. Oh, the the log. I love logs. It's big. It's heavy. It's wood. Uh, we get ooh, mossy. <laughs> it's log. It's log. It's big. It's heavy. Ooh. It's wood. Is that the mossy rock? That was a mossy rock mound. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Look at this guy. The reality Come on, mossy rupture. rock. This is the Swamp Mega Pack. Yes, this is the Sorrow Isle Swamp Mega Pack from our Wildlands Kickstarter. Woo! It's better than bad. It's good. Oh, I see. We have. Uh, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Got a Who sculpts these masterpieces? Um, we had a couple. Eli did this boulder, I think. Yeah. Michelle did the uh, little seal here. Ooh, that'd be fun to eat. Seal. A seal. She, Michelle did the seal of binding here. 
and the reality rupture. Is there magnetic accessories still in there? That's cool. Uh, Nina did a sauna mask. Yeah, we got a we got a couple sculptors, and then outside of the ones on our team, there's also some that we contract out to to do stuff every now and then. Yeah. Uh, Nina did this one. The the log I was excited about. This is the. It's a good log. Great. And it had, it's flat enough up here you can put a mini on it. When we were play testing with this stuff, uh, Toby's cleric, Alfred, used uh, animate objects on it and just used it as just like a like a battering <laughs> ram. Like just so he <laughs> went to town on a. I think he, he took out a slink root with it because the slink root was attacking them. So it was like a tree on tree battle. It was just like uh, it was really amazing. Is that a boulder or just a big rock? Oh. Uh, Again, I'm not educated. I, I'm not equipped to answer this question. Um, what's the giveaway word? Swamp. Swamp. Oh, uh, we should have made it grung. Oh, well. Oh. Let's get a full credit Add scroll it. for the sculptors. We let, me just, let me just program that on the fly real quick. We, uh, you're gathering up a list of the things in D&D that I hate. Right. Grung, Spelljammer. And then I'm going to run Mike a game. Is, I'm going to run a game online. It's just we're everything. We're flying in, flying in a Spelljammer. Going to escape from Ham Planet. You're going to like, wind up sailing <laughs> through the Astral Sea with a bunch of frogs. <laughs> it's all going to be video game references that I don't understand. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the, because you're on a, you're on a mission from the, the King God. of the Cosmos. Um, and uh, you're, you're, having, you're having to roll up all the grung in the astral sea. And then, I don't like my friend. Why do you know Katamari? Because uh, that was that was in the era with when I before That's I had you were kids. Playing? Man, that was like the okay. tail end of when I played. Uh, you don't know the who first Toad Katamari is, and you know is. Katamari. Yeah, I only played serious games, Chris. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be based on Ogre Battle '64. Do you know that one? No. Okay. Is it based on the Steve Jackson games Ogre? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Glam Relief. Look at that thing. Color changing. Awesome. Uh, woo! That's gonna win in the garden. Pick like a winner so I can go paint the games room. Yeah, we've been letting it run for a bit. Katamari Damacy was amazing. Was... Katamari is genuinely incredible. There, there's so much. I have. Uh, there's a book by Bosky. Hey, if you guys like Katamari and or uh, inspiring perspectives from interesting creatives. Uh, Boss Key, I think it's Boss Key Books. Uh, Laura Laura E. Hall did a book going over the the, the creator of. Well, it's about Katamari Damashi, but it's mostly about the, the the creator's like philosophy and his background, where he came from, how thing how it came to be the way it, it is. It was brilliant. It's genuinely like one of the most like. His entire approach to the whole thing is like. Just as a, it's just like a dude where I'm just like I just want to talk to this dude. <laughs> like, it's but the game is fascinating. It's the whole thing is it's it's generally incredible. It's it's, it's a great book. Um, that's gonna be the centerpiece of the garden. Right? We gotta, can we see that with a fogger? That's a great. Yeah, I gotta, we need, we need water for fogger, it. Look at this. This already feels like a. Right. Look at this. This feels like a creepy swamp. It does. Like, uh, I'm gonna I'm roll gone. this giveaway real quick. Yeah, roll it. And it's just Wes again. Is the name is the winner. Woo! Yeah, it's just Wes again. It's just Wes again. Oh, oh, oh spore claw. God, about uh, oh, we have fun stuff in here. And we'll get the video game references from the PS3 era. That's fair, but well, Katamari Damashi was PS2 era, the first one. Although they did keep making games through the. Uh, yeah, um, maybe I played it on PS2. So they did. We love Katamari. They did beautiful Katamari. I don't know. I just played the um, first one. Yeah. Uh, we've got the Method Reed. The gag in these where they're supposed to like, they release uh, super flammable pollen when you smack them, like a method and they catch it on fire. And we did um, little baby spore claw. Oh my god! I mean little baby. Uh, sorry, sorry. Sarnas. Sarnas full pods. Those guys are so cute. And they go into this guy, not as cute. It's a baby. <laughs> you know how they, you know how everybody loves uh, like Muppet babies, baby Mario. All that stuff. Now we got baby Sarnas carrots. Profiles. I love them. All right, uh, Wes. I'm gonna whisper you on Twitch real quick. Just need to get the email for your store account, and we will get that gift card applied to your Ooh, account. Ooh, the Look at those. 
We got oh, also, for all these plants, if you weren't aware, we actually released a free PDF that has a bunch of stats. What? Uh, for free? For free. It's on our on our site on the resources page. These are stats for AD and D? What are they, Chris? Uh they're exclusively <laughs> they're exclusively for riffs. I'm sorry. Dude. Uh, <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, uh any of the Palladium games. They're, actually, they're they're only for Battletech. Like <laughs> these are just these are just hazards for Battletech. <laughs> The, the, the plant that barely reaches a mech's toe. Is like <laughs> uh, um, PS3 wasn't Snake Eater. Snake Eater came out on PS2. And it looks f better than most things on the PS3. It's really astonishing. Um, what was I saying? Right. Uh, so we've got stats for 5e for all of the plants and flora and the other, other little things. Flora, fauna, the, the minis that are there. Look at these little guys. Uh, Tyler and I here. tried to be really creative with them. Grasping hands. You know, they do the uh, coming out of the earth. Uh, or you can white stick them to walls and have them like reaching through the wall. Yeah. Like. Stick them on your refrigerator. <laughs> you know, this one would. <laughs> oh. Also, the uh, the forest, uh, the first leg of the Wildlands Adventures is out. Yeah. Forest, uh, the forest one came out, and Tyler. Eli. Uh, Eli and Teos's storylines. Yeah, very exciting. Letitia is currently putting together the the graphics for the mountain adventures, and Tyler and I are uh, going over it, editing it, making it sure it all makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Why are the hands not magnetized? They are simply too small. <laughs> They're tiny. They are too small to get a magnet in. Um, if you wanted to, you could maybe get a little blah, magnet on there. Blah. We got a. Uh, they they were simply the lily pads. They're, they're simply too big, small. Giant to lily pads, so you can. Do I love those lily pads. Yeah, like they they can they can hold a mini. That was that was the goal, right? It's like yeah. we try and make everything, so, you have a useful game function if possible, right? So there's like, literally there's like stats for all of these things, right? From the viscolid to the bulb pods to the whatever to the wolf's bane. That like all the stuff has stats, like has a reason to be here and can and hopefully enhance your uh, your game experience. Uh, it feels like I need to beef up all the 5e stat blocks. The wow. goal of the 5e stat blocks is more to like provide ideas of like this is how this thing can work in like a unique way, um, and then you can balance well, it to were, fit whatever. Were mechanics versus they weren't like they weren't animated plants. They just had a property. Yeah. Right. Um, some of them were animated. Some yeah. of them were like some animated, and it was more like just trying to think of like. It was more about like tactically, what does this yeah. thing bring to the table? Not everything's a monster. The they're 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 they're, they're ch ways to make make your battlefield more interesting. Like with the like with the Crimson Claw Wyvern, it's like we want to like invent this like kind of bleeding status effect to like go with it. And like it's it's a hunter, so like. Well, that's a that is a monster. Turns out. Yeah, turns out that one is not just a little plant. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ooh, get our swamp. Yeah. Uh, swamp die. But yeah, as far as because balancing for five is also. Weird, I feel like it's always it's always hard, and so you adjust it wow. as you need to. It's more about just trying to get like the ideas down about like mechanically what can they bring to the table. The horizon. Look at that die. On this. I don't know how we uh, is it snap in on this thing. Let's get a. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm drinking. All right. Mm -hmm. Customer uh, customer support. If somebody complained that the. The purple was too dark on this. I was like, you write back to them and tell them they just don't know me. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, I had the chance to do something black and purple, like it's just gonna happen, sorry. You should be glad the entire thing isn't just purple. Yeah, it's just pure black. <laughs> black black numbers on a black die with like, like not raised or anything, just a black, uh, that, that whole <sighs> panorama, it's just gorgeous. <clears throat> Someone wow. put the Lemur floor on its side. Yeah, that was that was really cool. What was the, what? The, uh, somebody put the Lemur the, the Lemur pit on its side so that the Coming magnet up. would cover, stick to the wall. That's awesome. And so they were reaching out the. They made it like a, a passage, so you had to like run past like two Lemur pits, like reaching <sighs> out at you as you ran through. See, this is what I love about our stuff. We put it out in the wild, and people come up with the coolest ideas. Yeah, a lot of times Kimbrough, you guys are thinking stuff that we never thought of. Lump with a little little fox, mama yeah. fox in there. And you know, and and a lot of these are things that we saw in. Forest and mountain as well, but like, well, mostly forest. There's a lot of crossover between swamp and forest, but. But it's, you know, it it's a thing that drives our design experience. Like all the time in dev meetings, we'll be like, let's just make the toolbox 
and people will come up with clever ways, you know, they'll, they'll do cool stuff with it. If we can make it versatile, they'll find something really cool to do with it. And uh, you guys prove us right over and over and over again. Lori says they bought a pack with two Lamor pits just Ooh. so they can duplicate that. Is that the Hellraiser? I feel like Hellraiser has two. I think so. Hellraiser is a really cool pack. I guess pack. we got some ruins in here. Nice. That the Very hamster uh, hamster paint job translated really well into uh, factory. It was hamster's first time designing a terrain paint a job. A whole, uh, whole yeah. biome by himself. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. He crushed it. The biggest thing is our paint team figured out how to communicate to the factory how to do all this stuff. That's the uh, that's sort of the best. There's so much stuff to take into consideration outside of just like what looks the coolest. It has to be replicatable. It has to be replicatable, yeah. and it also like we're trying to talk to the factory more throughout every step of the process than we have in the past. Because um, yeah, like. <laughs> If if one of our ideas doesn't really get across to them, oh, man, it doesn't matter what we were thinking. Yeah. Like if they, if they don't actually understand it, hmm. uh, so we're trying to get better about all that. Um, ruins are sexy. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> My body is a ruined temple. <laughs> we're just gonna leave that one alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to yeah, trying to get into this suit that I haven't worn in years. Uh, it looks was, good on uh, you, man. It's great as long as I leave it open. Oh, it looks if, I, good. if I try to if I try to close this it thing, everything open. goes wrong. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's bad. Open Ooh. communication is a key to any good relationship. That's right, Gilded Poison. Gilded Poison. Hello, hello. Yeah. All right, we got more. Some, man, we have a lot of stuff through. Oh, we got the uh, Shimmer Frog. Are you in the second box? I'm, I'm through. Box? I'm almost down to there's only a couple of things left. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we'll still yeah. have time to do the other I'm, stuff. I'm crooking through. Open uh, suits is just life after 21. Do you know Shimmer what? Um, do you know what I... Uh, that's glow in the dark, I right? totally forgot. Yeah. I forgot this was going... Hang on, hang on. Let me charge it up. Did you hit the blackout button? Wait. And... Bam. This is... Hang on. I got one more. Oh, yeah, we got the light out front. <laughs> Will it still end the lights in the back? What, what we, we, need, we, need, we, need, we, need, we need PAs. Nah, it's not really showing up. Where am I in the camera? It's been in the... Yeah. Nah, it's been in the dark for too long. Well... Uh, it does go in the dark. I, I forgot about it until I turned out the lights in a studio the other day, and I was like, wait, the Shimmer Frog glows. I forgot. It's, yeah. It's amazing. Well, because I thought it was just going to be UV reactive, and then it turns out they actually put glow in the dark paint on it, so it just glows in the UV dark altogether. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I think it is also UV reactive. Yeah, yeah. So it's both UV reactive and glow in the dark. Yeah, it's the best of all worlds. Really. What is that? It's a shimmer frond. It's a shimmer frond. It's real Arate's favorite plant. Yeah, the best running joke. We've it was. Got. You know, I think he's really come around on the shimmer frond now. <laughs> he really. Yeah. I think. I think he's. I think he's had to. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was originally going to um, have LEDs in it, and the idea was the L it was going to have oh. an LED in the base, and it was going to carry up to these things, and the light wouldn't carry. It just didn't didn't work, and the base was going to have to be too big, so it ended up just being a cool do you, paint job. Do you know the muffin man? Is the yes? Is the casting color for Hellscape UV reactive? Mm. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Big Jim on the Discord earlier today, or yesterday, uh, was posting some pictures of unpainted Hellscape being UV reactive. Hmm. And we were like, is this just a thing that's happened without us knowing? No. I <laughs> mean, maybe it looks, because it's that kind of weird neon yellow... Maybe, I mean, clearly, if it's if it's reacting, it's reacting. So apparently, according to it's not uh, purposeful. CRU, apparently, so is clear dwarvenite. So maybe we just haven't. Yeah, known. clear dwarvenite has a, has a nice uh, glow to it. Okay, so it's just a happy perk, I guess. Yeah, um, we'll take it. Yeah, uh, we get more ruins. All right, just a little tasto. Oh, it's so good. Tasto ruins. I'm so I got Tyler a whole. Tyler opened a inspected a ruins mega. Today instead everything is looking great, especially that double. 
I have a whole unpainted. Oh, this I have a whole unpainted Runes Mega Pack coming in because oh, I want to do a bunch of different paint schemes on it. Can't wait to see what you do in 2025. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it's not. You're not wrong, but like it's. Yeah. <laughs> it just, I. Uh, I paint a lot more minis than terrain. Yeah. Packing up. Well, even just minis. Like, I, you know, packing up minis to move into the new attic workshop. I'm realizing I'm like, jeez, I don't know how I'm gonna get all of these minis painted ever. Like, well, the pile of opportunity is large. Is painted hellscape base coated in white? Yes. Uh, not base coated. Some like masked. Yes, you masked. Right, so out. you you leave you leave the areas that you coat. want to glow clear. You but don't it was just the raw but it was the unpainted that he was seeing. So I don't think it would be that. Mm. Ooh, look, one singular solid. Uh, do you have a Quildren there? Or do we need to I run do. and grab one? You do? Can we get a size comparison between the Quildren and the large dead tree? We sure can. Face off. I don't know if he wants it to be with stump or without stump, but... There it is. Okay, so without stump, the large dead tree is still a little taller. Mm, by... Almost identical if they're actually lined up like that. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. And then you throw it on, like in this case here, throw on this stump, and it gets a little taller. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. We have uh, we have almost everything unpacked here. There's, oh, we didn't look at this yet. The, Titan's Tooth base, look at that big Mondo. Titan's Tooth is gorgeous. This is just the base, the gums of the tooth. Um. And it's a good, uh, oh, you know what that is? That's a good place to put your, uh, your glamour leaf in your fey garden here. The real centerpiece. You got a huge hummock there? Uh, no, no, no huge hummocks with this. Dang, okay. Yeah. We'll need to check this out later. Uh, Chuck's, all, saying that the quildren, Chuck's saying that the, the, the quildren on a huge hummock makes a great bonsai tree. They were, he was building a thing in their display at home, I believe. Okay, so you've seen it. Got it. No, I haven't seen it, but he was telling me about it. Oh. We've got, I forgot this came in here, man. How many common swamps of the large dead tree? Do we? Two? Two of the large trees in the mega pack? Two large, two large dead, two, three gnarled, one, two, three. Three small dead, and then a bunch of dead stump toppers, I think, if I'm counting correctly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get a lot of, there's so much dead, there's so much dead stuff in the swamp. A lot of deadery. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of dead stuff in the swamp. You know, the, one of the big things we're missing still, the barge. Yes. Very barge, excited about Barge, the basilisk, and fogger. All right, so we got ourselves... A planar pylon here, woo! Checking remote controls. Yeah. Any funny, tips for improving fit for teardrops? Um, what are you trying to achieve? Like you could, uh, I mean if, if it really irks you, you could always just glue a thing in permanently and do a little green stuff around the edge. Yeah. Um, Which piece, which piece is giving you a hard time? Which combo? That one's a pretty good. It's a small blue tour. Oh, that's unrelated. Are those pillars all painted in Elven Rune Scheme pillars? The the rune stuff. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yes. Anything that like is a structure basically, is from that like Kalantir runes. Yes. Um, that's the Kalantir only style. Yeah. All right, we have. Uh, let's open this. Capital saying just wanting to have less gap. Um, if, yeah, if the goal is having like as little guy, if you don't want the modularity, uh, you can permanently affix and then green stuff and like maybe put some like base shrubbery and stuff in there mm -hmm. to, to to mask it if you want to make it a permanent thing. Um, you could glue it on top too. You could also glue it on top. Um, yeah, we've got a fogger. Nice. Let's get that fogger in the spore claw. Yeah. 
requires water. I wonder if it runs in cider. Oh, somebody was asking earlier if it's okay to not use distilled water. Yes. It can just cause this buildup over time, like scaling that you get on a... Uh, God darn. What? It requires a small screwdriver. Oh, uh, <laughs> we, we got a... So we have a, we have a, a fogger that comes with batteries and uh, a little funnel to get my water in there and a little cap. Yeah. Screwdriver? I don't know. Yeah, well... That's on hold for a moment. Uh, In the meantime, I'm guessing it. Oh yeah, we got. Okay, they're all over here. The uh, how, how tiny you need? Is it Phillips? Tiny, yeah, tiny Phillips. It's like a tiny like Phillips. a dainty, like a a little pixie came down, and was like. Ee! Okay. We got the uh, the Orion Noir boat here. The Orion Noir boat. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, we might not have any of the tiny ones in here. Oh. That's, uh... I can go get one from the workshop. If... Yeah, if you want to do that, yeah, I can yeah. entertain people. Are you going to tell some jokes? Ooh, this thing is getting lively. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Nate's not drilling this fogger? Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> nothing, nothing, uh, little drilling won't fix, right? He's just going to have like, to... Who just... said that? They're, they're, they know, they know how to fix things. They're... Yeah, you have to have a drill somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah. It would be more dangerous if I was at home. More hanging moss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we, opened we the... didn't show it. Yeah, the hanging moss is here. We didn't show it. Okay. I don't know why. All right. So we got ourselves. So let's, 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 let me fully, a merry fully accessorize. Nice. Get that gator skull. Get that got crossbow. Skull. The crossbows were in this, were they? Or they uh, is a harpoon launcher. Harpoon gun, that's right. The yeah. crossbows were castles? But they, uh, but they do fit on them. It's, a, it's an arbalist. Arbalist, yeah, that's right. Figured Michelle. Nate the, uh, Michelle. <laughs> figured Nate for the type to carry a Leatherman. You know, you know, for a long while I did carry a Leatherman. Um, and then I upgraded to a Gerber because it was even closer. Yeah, I had to flick out like a uh, player's option. But... I got a lot of, I, I tend to get stopped a lot in security lines. And then <laughs> in conjunction with the Leatherman, wherever, that, I think the deal breaker was a, the amusement park. They wouldn't let me in because they thought I was going to like dismantle the, um, the uh, roller coasters or something. <laughs> um, and I was just like, okay, I guess I'm just not going to carry this anymore. But yeah, there was a long stretch of time. At one point, it, the, the height of it I was carrying, I would carry a, uh, this is sort of pre-cell phone flashlights. I would have, I had a, a, a mag light and a, and a uh, Gerber on my belt at all times. Beautiful. Oh, we got followed by Blade Runner. Awesome. Cool. Also terrifying. <laughs> well, you can't fight, uh, ooh, are there two? It comes with two? Harpoon guns? Is this? Yeah. Did, was this a mispack or is this true? I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. I'm sure somebody really? here can tell us. Wow. I'll check the add yeah, pack real two. quick. Go us. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, not good. Go the uh, peg good, fell out on this good one. Good idea. The peg fell out. Well, that's not us. That's the factory. Well, yeah. <laughs> just flex on us. But, all right. Let's pretend. All right. So check this out. We got my cells. Buy you large. Yeah, that looks good. So we have a Balefire Lantern up front, a Flickering Beam Lantern, Gator Skull. And of course, you can swap this out with any of your LEDs. You got our, we got a four oars, some sort of like, I don't know, Hydra skin or Basilisk skin, like stapled to the side of this thing. Udder on the, rudder, udder. It's the udder on the back. That's where you get the, the, the bayou milk <laughs> from the bayou barge. The uh, harpoon gun. And then it has, I don't know if I can oh, get yeah. it under the... Uh, why, why buy you the barge when you can uh, uh, get, get the, the milk, milk for free? free. That's what they yeah, say. That's what, they, that's what they say. So it's got the, the smuggler's uh, little compartment in the back there. And this thing, if you're having a hard time getting out, it has metal. Did we lose your mic? Where is it? It's hidden inside. Oh, it's hidden inside. I didn't Got want it. to ruin the aesthetics on camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything else is spotless in here. It can't, it can't ruin the production value. Yeah. Of the, all right. So this thing has, has metal on the bottom so you can use your uh, magnetic trap removal tool or whatever to pop it out. 
to reveal the secret compartment. I've got a mast hole for someday we'll, we'll make a mast. Um, which for now we could just put like a... Uh, you can have a tree growing in the middle of your... You just like an Elvin funeral bar. Isn't that what everybody wants to do? Yeah. Isn't that... Uh, and of course, everything, there's all modular. You can pop your, uh, you can pop your oars out and put your... If you want to put your harpoon clutch on the side, you can do that. Or And best of all, I can't, you know, can't wait to mix and match this with the other modular boat, right? Because it pops... All pops apart. You need if you're like, you know what? We don't need this tree in here. We're gonna <laughs> really nice boat. Very cool. Thank you, Blade Runner. It's yeah. This is. I think that's one of the. I think it was one of the bigger eye catching things in the campaign. And it mixes and matches with the old other boat. boat. The old boat. So you yeah. can make all sorts of fun combinations. Seacraft. Adding a tree to my boat. This must now. Well, you could elevate it, and you could even have it like you could. It could have grown. It could have dot beached. You and could kit bash and have it sitting on top, like halfway up a tree, like a tree grew through it. Yeah. And now it's like suspended up in the air. Like it went off a jump and it landed in a... In a tree, <laughs> pierced it through yeah. the... Yeah. With the harpoon up front. Totally works as a wrecked boat where the tree grew through it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, well, you also can, can wreck it, right? Just have it like... I'm going to wreck it. it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know. <laughs> I didn't know we did that impression too. Apparently, we're John C. Riley's in the house. Is I got a great John C. Riley impression. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our last. Uh, Thanks, Rabbit. And yeah, hey, have, a, have, a, good, have a good sleep. It's good night, Rabbit. Late. It's late for you. Say hi to your fam. We got ourselves a swamp basilisk. <laughs> Wow. There's a snake in my swamp. <laughs> it's not really a snake. Oh, the basilisk is so cool. This... How sharp is it? Does it hurt does it hurt your hands to pet it the wrong way? No. Okay, because I was planning on petting that thing a lot. Yeah, no, it's it's uh it's sharp but not like debilitatingly sharp. That's good that's good. Yeah. Is the druid rowing the boat as a tree? Drew uh Drew sculpted the this guy. The, the druid Crystal's... like Crystal Sully did the concept art to make this guy. Crystal Sully's... Man... Putting the cobra hood. All the art that she did for our mm -hmm. monsters in Wildlands is wild. I'm very excited to see the LED version. Yeah, she's a, she's a talented one. You know, they both studied under the same teacher. I can't remember her name. Drew and Crystal. So they were like... You know, just talking anatomy, monster anatomy together was amazing. Like... You know, they were both, like, so on the same page. Oops, I'm going to... Why don't we just go to... This guy is awesome. This guy. Nipple thing. Yeah. And that's a, that's a size that's the no, that's the noise. That's the noise a basilisk makes. <laughs> that's... As a catalyst. That... Oh, my... That would be incredible. What if, like, the way it lures them in is it can imitate, like... A cat. It can kitten. imitate it. So it's like, oh, there's a cat. A hungry monster. kitten. <laughs> they, they, go, they go looking for it. <laughs> Well, this one, the, the LED version, they're supposed to, the idea is that there's these little sacks here that glow, and these yeah. glow, so it's, it mesmerizes you, it glows on the hood and mesmerizes you, so you have to like look at it, and then it gets you with its uh, paralysis gaze. That was the... I love his beard. He's got like spiky beard thing hanging down. <laughs> I think he's awesome. That was, uh, that was one of the more fun things to figure out for when we were doing the stat blocks. Was like, how do we make? How do you hypnotize people? Well, how do we make the regular basilisk? How, how do we make the basilisk like interesting? And then how do we provide like a secondary ability that like even better on makes the, other the one. LED the yeah. LED version like a souped up version of it? All right, let's make a garden. Yeah, let's make a garden. Woo! It is eight thirty. You're eight thirty. Just saying. <laughs> um, we got a. Uh... Let's see. Mm. We have a lot of stuff in here. I don't know how I used all this stuff in the original. Oh, well, you had a 4x4 four four instead of a 3x3. Oh, yeah, three. that's true. Yeah. Like, we have condensed it. It normally covers more space than this, but we don't have a table big enough. There. Well, we could have cleared. Oh, no. It's, everything's on that. That's a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, the 4x4 four four is on the thing that Hamster is supposed to pack up for Adepticon. Hamster. Yeah. Always vexing me, that one. We'll have him do it tomorrow when he's in for the painting videos. 
Or else. Or else. <laughs> Please work with Crystal again. Yeah. Uh, do we want to? I think if we, anytime we need monster concept art done, there's no reason not she's to just go to her. Too. Well, you know the reason not to go to her is she's always all she's booked like crazy. Everybody now. wants she's to work doing, with her. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing stuff for Magic, the Gathering, and she's doing stuff for everybody. She's like, she's a hot ticket because she is super talented. Yeah. Um, the other, you know, the other challenge was the. Um, our monsters, our wildlands, minis oh. didn't sell so well. Um, I mean, part of it might have been that there were six thousand dollars worth of other terrain to also buy. Yeah, the, the big um, thing, like people really liked the minis, but a lot of them are just like, if I cu if I cut a mini, I can get another terrain pack. And there was yeah. there was a lot of like, I will save the minis to get in the store later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The problem is if they don't sell well, it's hard for then us to, go to the keep store. them in the store. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we're happens. We're not we're not focusing on big monsters in the uh, in in the city. In the city, we're not doing the. Although uh, she did pitch me on a really cool concept, but don't know. We'll I just see. want pseudo dragons. Yeah, I want pseudo dragons so bad. They're I mean, my that's favorite. The most adorable. Uh, They're the perfect creature. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it basically, uh, it's a cat dragon. Uh, uh, hanging moss. Oh, you want some hanging moss? Yeah. Okay, let's let's hang it up. Yeah. Hang it up. Yeah. Hang it up. Uh, let's put it on that tree. A uh, little. There you go. You're on. Moss hangers. Let's get this tree all swampified. Deck the tree, baby. Let's go. The cathedral mimic incoming. <laughs> Could you imagine a stained glass mimic? That'd be awesome. It's like Although a beautiful stained glass window, easily, and then it like, right? it would, like starts like, and it tr it's it's a living thing. That'd be amazing. But it stays translucent, so like the light is still shining through it and stuff as it's attack. Oh god. I think Reaper made a stained glass golem. That's cool. Uh, in translucent, so you could do it with like with inks. Yeah, a lot of people saying like love the minis, but had to cut a lot, and minis are like the first thing to cut. Yeah. Uh, hoping to pick some up in the store later. Did go for the dragon. John John got all the minis. Yeah. Wow. Capel says next Kickstarter big centerpieces like Stairway to Violence, the Nexus, Titan's Tooth, and minis. Well, Mimi's, which Mimis? might not have been a typo. Mimi. Yeah. Minis for me. Yes. Slink Root wants to They did do a stained glass golem, yeah. Maybe a ship mimic. A modular ship mimic. Well, that's what makes it modular, is it can be a mimic or a ship. Well, we, all we need to do is take the, uh, take the barge and have like the front piece come off and just put a different, put a big giant mouse on the, uh, a mouse prow. Yeah. Let's see. All right, I am ready to garden. Uh, it is 8.40. Do you want Jeez. to get to the other stuff, or? Let's just build. We're, we could, okay. I think we'd, I'd rather finish this out, and then uh, next week. Do the other stuff next week. We can, we can talk hellscape bundles. We could look at some city stuff. We can tease some beans. I wonder how long this video is going to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to cut around. You cut right, right to the, uh, yeah, cut right to it being finished. Let's see. All right, I think I showed all the pieces. I believe so, I too. I can't remember. Especially because, you know. I forgot we had, we put um, whole accessory holes in a lot of spots, like, Crescent Rock, and yeah, it's got one. So you could like you could mount your uh, you can mount your harpoon launcher there and use this as like a. Uh, you could have your your bandit set up behind this thing with it mounted on there. It's like a little dug in spot. So in this case, I'm gonna make a little uh, like Mephit Reed garden up here. This 
Mossy Rock. Uh, uh, oh. Chris, you're the boss here. If you want to, yeah, that's right. I'm wearing the tie. It's true. I say we're going to talk about Hellscape. Say we talk Hellscape. Yeah. It's kind of better if we can see the sets a little, though. Well, I do have pictures for them, is the thing. Let's do it, let's do it next week. Okay. Let's do it next week. That's fine. We got, uh, that's we're, fine. We're, we're, we're in the swamp. We're almost. Uh, that's fair. It, it's, it'd be kind of a tactic. We wouldn't really get to yeah, talk about it much at this like point. I'd rather do it right. Yeah. Tim the Pirate is on a road trip from Washington to Connecticut. Woo! I can't think of what, a better wait, way to what? spend this time. Thank you guys so much. All right, we're, well, you, we have to stay on the air until he reaches Connecticut. Uh, it's not fair to go abandon faster. him. It's not fair to abandon no him at this stopping. point. Yeah, it's now it's like a... Uh... Yeah, it's like a... They've just completely taken over. God, there's so many holes there. Well, I put, I put Mossy Rock Mounds That'll do on it. there okay. and um, the Tiny Hummock. And then use the existing home. Uh, Greg wants to know if bundles were finalized. They no. weren't. Well, that's the thing is we want to run them by you guys and see how they go, but we can do it next week. We had some pricing uh, challenges. Close-up of lily pad. Yeah. Yeah, Wilderness brings up a good point. Uh, we don't want to get bogged down. Ha! So let's just save it for the next stream. Yeah. Uh, it's murky. Do I not have closed captions enabled on your stream? Is that a, Wait, is that a thing I can... Enable? Really? It'll automatically. I didn't gibberish, know gibberish. Turn this into something. Gibberish, yeah. gibberish. Well, I mean, I gotta figure out where that is. That's pretty cool. Is this a new thing? How long has that been? Yeah, I never knew this was a. Mm -hmm. Where would it be? Okay, it's not under there. All right, so we're gonna have. Uh, let me get this thing. Where's the pet? Where is this? You can get extensions. That, okay, so it's an extension. Cool. It's not. Okay, so it's not in the base stuff. Got it. Uh, I'll look into that after this. Um, how am I supposed to see what's happening on the stream while I'm in a meeting? Mm. Look, we're not trying to. As a businessman myself, I'm not trying <laughs> to. Uh, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get anybody to. Uh, to, to not, you know, do their job to the best of their ability. Uh, I'll look into that extension, though. I didn't you, know that was a thing uh, we could do. You did that, that, that salesman role play pretty well. Salesman role play? Yeah, yeah the whole, uh, yeah. Businessman role uh, play. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Hey. Buy low, sell high. Hey. You. Hey. You need a watch? <laughs> what does this whole thing just do? <laughs> Go door to door and sell watches. Always be selling. Remember. Always be selling. ABS. That's what ABS stands for. Mm -hmm. anytime, anytime we got to do ABS on a piece. Uh, let's see. Did anybody have any swamp questions? Uh, there's been a lot of swamp questions. I think okay. we've answered most of them as they've come up. Uh, let's see. Can I get a quote on, on insurance? <laughs> um, sure. Uh, insurance. Insurance is good. <laughs> That's literally what it was. Oh. Oh. Timing is everything Insur in comedy. <laughs> Insurance is good. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. <laughs> 2012. The end. Uh, yeah. Good dismount. Is it? Good dismount. Let me guess. You're going to need me to come in on Saturday. Yes. Harry's got great 401k options. Yeah, we actually we actually have 403k options. We we went uh, we went <laughs> yeah. we went a little over. We have we're a like, plus we, one 401. We're like these people K. need more options. 401 options is not enough. We want people to be able to customize the K to the best of their ability. <laughs> the K. Yeah. Maximum K. The potassium. We're just we're just really <laughs> committed to our employees <laughs> having a solid potassium. potassium intake. Everybody has different dietary needs. We want to accommodate every lifestyle. Um, I'm going to need that stapler back. <laughs> <laughs> need insurance because the other guy ain't going to have outsurance to cover. That's such a good line. What was it? You need insurance because the other guy ain't going to have outsurance to cover you. Wow. Yeah, right? I guess that's pretty solid. That's a good, that's, that's like just wordy enough to like it's, be awkwardly, really like awkwardly delivered by Schwarzenegger and like. Yeah. Like they do like line. an office place action film with them. 
hasn't he already? He must have done an Office Space. Action. I, he's, def he's definitely done an action films where he was like an Office guy, but I mean like one that's just like like Office Space, but it's a Schwarzenegger like. But Schwarzenegger is Jim. <laughs> yeah. I want him to go back to acting. It would really be. Uh, yeah. This is really fun decorating, uh, making a plant garden, by the way. A uh, hag plant garden. It's Ironically, really a 403B is an actual plan. I'm an a there. No, there's no way. That's what awesome. does that even mean? Who needs that? <laughs> Why don't we just call it something? That, why don't we just call it something more descriptive? Well, how is 401k a good? <laughs> it's not. It's okay. also not descriptive. Having a 401k and a 403. How is anybody supposed to know what this means? Well, the B. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I actually have no idea what it even yeah, stands that's for. Yeah, that's what I thought. But. You know, you're right. Yeah. 403B, is, 403B is for nonprofits. Oh, good. Mm, it's a 401k for nonprofits. Yeah, B is for nonprofit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, B for business. K is for, <laughs> K is for profits. Profit. Carrots, baby. 401 carrots. <laughs> I got a 401 carrot plan. It's the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm using... I, I'm using a man. Feel bad for everyone to edit this thing down into a YouTube video. <laughs> well, we're keeping it all of this. <laughs> we're keeping it all of this. It's gonna be swamp unboxing and insurance advice. So I'm taking the little, yeah. um, the little rock mounds and dynamics and making like deliberate little steppy areas. So like you can go, you know, normally you'd water your garden. I don't know what a hag does to like a weird swamp garden, but like so you can kind of visit the different areas you need paths in your in your garden it's the bleak meyer botanical gardens yes yeah let's put it over here it is sorrow nest zone i do not water it i feed it blood blood let's see i kind of want to make a uh, i kind of want to make a a swamp Hag garden at home now. Like I feel like there's definitely, I mean, we're going to see some, again, when people have this stuff and they've got the rest of their Dwarven Force collections as well, we're going to see them do some stuff that we never oh, it's thought of. Be bonkers. It's going to be so good. I don't even know where to put the boat. The boat's going to go over here. Oh, this is for sightseeing. Right, you can this, is, this is the $50 boat ride you can take around the garden. 50 platinum. 50 platinum, right, sorry. Yeah. 50 platinum? Yeah. You, uh, it's no joke. It's, 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 this hag does not have a 403B. This is all profits. It's right. K. It's all for the K. Yeah, this is all 401K. K apparently, for apparently a 401A There's an A? is for non-profits but paid by the employer. And a 401K is I even, for... Yeah. I'm exhausted. It includes protection from the plant life. That's what the Balefire Lantern is for. It provides a protective... That's actually... That's Literally, actually just getting into yeah. the lore of the object. I feel like the economy in Nate's game is messed up. Uh, <laughs> Electrum is actually a economy. cryptocurrency. And, uh, it's a crypto. <laughs> it's a cryptocurrency. Yeah. Uh, it's for the tour of the garden, but another 100K to actually leave. Oof. It's wow. Mr. Bones' ride. It's 50 copper to, to tour the garden. Do you, do you know it's 50 platinum to leave. Do you, do you know Mr. Bones' wild ride? No, I know Mr. Toad's wild ride. Do you, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, somebody made, <laughs> somebody made a ride called Mr. Bones' Wild Ride, and they made it the longest, slowest ride possible, <laughs> <laughs> and it just constantly was back on itself, and it takes them it's like- It's an infinite, it's an infinite roller coaster, essentially. It's not an infinite roller coaster, but it just takes forever to get through. It takes so, like, they're literally on it for, like, years in game time. Um, that's hilarious and it's just them, like, they die because it's so and it's just, slow. it takes them like around the perimeter of like the entire thing and so, so they, they showed that and they they go to like the status window where you can see what people are saying about the park and it's just everybody just saying I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride <laughs> and he's just got like skeletons like up around the ride everywhere just like <laughs> it's it's, the, it's so good is uh, it the AI is saying that not the AI, but well, yeah, the the, the people. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon, in, you can look what people are. Yeah, you, each each person in your 
Each person they're in not your real park people. is it's assigned. Computer people. They're not real people. No. Okay. Otherwise, it would be like <laughs> <laughs> be front page. If they news. were real people, the way that we play the game would get ethically very questionable very quickly. I used to secure whenever I had to hit a goal of like getting so many people in my park. When they came in, I would just take them and drop them on an island in the middle of a so they couldn't lake leave. so that they couldn't leave. Yeah. Fair. Um, this guy wants to. What? 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 Is this a 501c3? Yeah, 403Bs are for 501c3s. That's a non-profit. What does any of this mean? That's a non-profit. Non-profit's a really good podcast, actually. But it's it's profit spelled like... Oh, the, like a profit? Yeah. It's a very good podcast by Alex Fasciani and Satchel Drakes. Um, right. Use Ooh, faulty roller coasters like to launch people into rifle parks. They died over there. Hmm. A town guard makes 30 silver a month. I'd say 50 plat is a bit steep. <laughs> they save up their entire lives. Just to go to, to go to the To go to the botanical gardens. And they're like, yeah, I need to take that boat ride. It's so expensive. It's got to be worth it. If you get on there. It's and a you're fabled just boat ride. Well, it's, it's, it's the most fey thing you could possibly do. The, the, uh, the fountain uh, it said if you breathe from the, uh, from the spore claw, it gives you uh, eternal life. We have way too many That's people in here who are actually accountants and are talking to each other, <laughs> talking to each other in terms I do not understand. Well, congratulations! It took them a long time to figure all these things out. This, when's the last time you got to talk about a a five hundred three B? When's the last time I wanted to? Yeah, I didn't know they existed to talk about. Exactly, it was it's interesting to learn about these. Fair. I want more accountants in my life. This looks like so much stuff, and it's not even. And it's on a 3x3 three three instead of a 4x4. Four four. Like, it's not even actually as big as it's supposed to be because we don't have a table big enough for it. I'm going to need a bigger table. In a terrain stream, no less. Yeah. Oh, well, we have a lot of smart folks. Oh, man, this is fun. All right, I don't know where I'm going to put this guy. What size is this build? Uh, we're on a 3x3, three three, a 3 foot by 3 foot tabletop right now. However, it comes with four 2x2 two two like mats. outside world. So oh, it no, um it's... it actually is built to fill a four by four table, but we don't currently have a tabletop open that is big enough. You can see in the background that's our four by four table, but it's got something on it currently. Can't really. Even so see we can't it. use it tonight. All right, okay, so we're, we're going. Flying. We're going for the the fifty fifty platinum ride. Oh god! Here. I hope nobody's getting car sick. All right. This is the boat ride. Yeah. Let's see, you're seasick. Ooh, ooh, the Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, so you we joke, have, but it's genuinely a thing. We have the dead tree area, one of her favorite areas. This hag, she loves oh, the dead trees. Yeah, and then there's a, uh, we got a lily pad zone leading into the. It's a lot of lily pads. Out uh, here's the um, the bone bloom point. That's where the bone bloom blooms under the uh, the willow. Uh, yeah, glamour leaf, of course, like preening in the middle on top of the uh, like the the uh, it's like a vanity pedestal. I the, love the glamour leaf stats we made. Glamour leaf. Uh, over here is the uh, collection of hands. <laughs> yeah, it's her, that's her hand garden. Yeah, she's growing fresh hands. Some, the 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 black rod trees are sort of like they're sort <laughs> of ostracized into the shadows over there because I don't know I didn't have room for them anywhere else. Um, gimbals oh, wait, are a wonderful thing. The, yeah, it'd be great if we were using a gimbal, wouldn't it? This is, I've got three cords attached, two cords attached. Oh my okay. god. Oh god. We got over here, we got the, uh... <sighs> Chris, speak when the ride is over so I can open my, this genuinely, ironically, this view is helping my road trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't make me laugh, because I can't hold the camera. Uh, you didn't have to do this. I, uh, yes, we can, so we see the thing. i got to find a place for the shimmer front. Um, All organic, free-range hands. Yeah. All right, so there's the, uh, the spore claw. Like... We gotta get the fogger working. So the spore claw will be here, so it can spray fog. We got the viscolids, uh, artfully arranged up there like a wedding party, like staggered up. On I'm the so thing. sorry. I want to get off Mr. Nate's swampy ride. <laughs> <laughs> got the uh, the method reads on there a bit. Oh, sarnest uh, cluster over here. With uh, there's lily pad, right? Like little paths to get out to all these things. 
In the back, we've got the. Uh, I need some light on the quildrin with the. The uh, tied in the planer pylons around it. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, the perfect fifty platinum ride you could ever dream of. Why wouldn't you? Pay your entire life savings for this. I, I'm excited for like all the barge-based combat that we can. Barge-based combat is a phrase that you don't get to say often enough. It's not, but hey, we're giving you the tools for it right here. Yeah. Barge-based combat. We have barge, a barge-based combat simulator. We're barge and we're in barge. Barge simulator. Bard barge based comment. <laughs> oh man, just like you have like bard based combat. Yes. Bard. Ooh. This with the four spanks will make uh, a ton of swamp area. Yes. That's the thing, man. If you got untamed. Oh, and I have a bunch of pieces over here I didn't use. I got a bunch. Oh, one, you have a bunch two, of unused three, stuff four, even. Four, four banks, five, six banks, seven, eight banks, a couple tree stumps. Three more, uh, five more three by threes. Yeah, so this yeah. isn't even this isn't even all of the a stuff fogger. that comes in it. Yeah. Some moss. We ran out of space because yeah. we don't have the four by four table. Um, this is a fact. Yeah, so there's even more stuff that's not being used here. Uh, all right, questions? Anything we need to cover before we get out of here? Yeah. Uh, let, let, let's let's open up to all that. It's a lot in the in Star Isle. There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I'm really happy with... a big pile of boxes on the floor, too. It's really nice. Oh, uh, the ride is over, Black and Blue Mark. We have safely returned to land. I don't know. We lost a few... Uh, is there no purple plants? Overboard. There's purple on the uh, sh Glamour Leaf. I think there's purple on the... The, the Sorrow Nests are purple. Sorrow Nests are purple. There's uh, purple around the base of the... Sport claw. Also, the purple accents the in the accents in swamp are purple. So all the it's berries and all the flowers. The yeah. Yeah. There's little there's little bits of purple accents all over. Um, like these little uh, little flowers over like just purple purple. Plenty purple, of purple, 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 purple. No shortage of purple. Uh, Gilded yeah. poison made purple trees. They may not stay purple though. Ooh, I want to see. Post them up on Twitter. Yes. Years. Uh, Merck's almost sad he didn't get this mega pledge, but also relief they only did swamp mega banks and plants. I, are you doing unpainted? So it's just like how much painting you'd have to do. Besides the boat, what else can have LED upgrades? Uh, one of the boulders has an LED socket. Does this come with an LED boulder or just a magnetic boulder? Just a magnetic boulder. Okay, so the LED boulder. So we've got the magnetic boulder that takes magnetic accessories, and then the forest, I believe, has an LED boulder in it Three where you can plug them. all the LEDs into so it. So does the like mountain. A lantern hanging off. Um, got the pylon. Has LEDs. Also, the basilisk. There's, a, there's the bas LED version of the basilisk. Uh, and there's also a runes piece. The buttress. The has, buttress has an LED socket on it. So that LED light that's hanging on the front of the. So the th that that boat can take any of our LED. Like so can the buttress. Lights. Any of our. So wall can the buttress. Yeah. Mountains. Those are those are all interchangeable. So you don't have to use that lantern on the front of the boat. You can use any of our LEDs. And then you can also use any of those LEDs on the buttress or the LED boulder or any of our other LED socket pieces from our past Kickstarters. Um, of it course is all was the, um, interchangeable. The light puck, which is 61 <laughs> yeah, addressable LEDs on yes. the programmable thing. There was yeah. the triple, the skull, the skull lantern. Uh, yeah, the flaming skull sconce. Flaming skull sconce. There was... Um, we have the Bale Fire Lantern wild, and we have the... Glow globe, arcane glow globe. There was the, the gloom gorger which died. There was an LED plant that was a socket based plant. Right. That died. Was that whole the socket died? Was it going to be a JST too. socket? Yeah. And it's just that thing where it's like we can't justify it for it this was, one. Yeah, there was a whole series yeah. of problems with it. Yeah. Which had the flaming skulls? The flaming skull sconce. Well, that's so the three LED, the three like LED. A attaching socket pieces we made are in Wildlands are the Archaean Glow Globe, which is the blue one, the Balefire Lantern, which is the green one on the Here. boat, uh, and the Flaming Skull Sconce, which is a red one with little skulls on it. Those are the three. Orange Fire. Orange Fire, yeah. Um, and then there's a bunch that we've made in the past, like Dungeons got some, Castles got some, Caverns oh, man, got some. Oh, we must have. We have a ton of those from uh, past there Kickstarter. There must be 16 as well. different yeah. LEDs. We have, we have like a couple different torch options. Three? Uh, yeah. The original, um, the angled one, and the bone one. 
Yeah. We have a regular lantern. Keep it around from the future? Yeah, we're definitely gonna try to keep the LEDs as accessible as possible. Didn't we make an LED, did we add an LED add-on pack in the Pledge Manager for Wildlands? I don't remember. I feel, or we added that them to the LED folder. That was a long time ago. It was a long, I feel like, I feel like one of the things people were like, I really want a pack where I can get all the LED stuff, and I think we made one that's mm -hmm. like, I, 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 th I thought we did. We did one in It's castles. been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long shipping no, process. No, the Glamour Leaf has LEDs. Glamour Leaf has LEDs, yeah, has LEDs in it, nothing, and they change and like rotate over time, and it's really nice. Um... Scintillating chromatic orb. Yes, I love, I love the stats for the glamour leaf because it's one of the cheekiest things we wrote. Where it just it tries to, you. if it senses a spellcaster in your party, it just like tries to enchant them and get them to come over and like talk to it and mm. like just like have like a friendly conversation with it while it sucks out their spell slots. And uh, chatty plant. Yeah, it's just a very, it's very cheery plant. Standing stones pack has the flaming skulls. There you go. Chuck says. Thank you, Chuck. Um, Thank you, customer service. Woo. Yes. Uh, you see, he never sleeps. He's like. Machine. Did you test the spore claw, Mister? Uh, oh we, no. We don't have this. Do you, you want to remember, let me go you get a, grab uh, that screwdriver? Let me go get a screwdriver. Yeah, we uh, realized that we needed a screwdriver to get the batteries into the fogger, so he's gonna go. Yeah. He's gonna go grab that. I should do the batteries the first ready. before the water. So I'll, I'll continue answering questions while he goes and prepares the fogger, and then we will put it in the spore claw and test it out. And then I think that'll probably be the last thing we do. We're a little bit over time, but that's fine. We will explore all this. Mm. Under Doom Banks pack. We are talking about it. Um, There's four. Of them? We're currently planning out the rest of our restock orders through the end of the year, so maybe there'll be a thing to try to get in for those last couple of restocks. Um, I'm going to be reading through the restock requests on the Discord uh, a lot the next couple of days as we have this discussion about what we need to bring in uh, before the end of the year. Um, so. If there's anything you haven't requested that, that you really want to see, uh, not all of it is possible, but it helps to know what people are looking for um, as we make these decisions. Uh, restock Counts Castle. Oh, buddy, that's just not. Mm, unfortunately, those big, those big sets are really hard for us to do. There's too big, too vari the variety of pieces is too high with the low casting count. When Wildlands hits the store, will it be all one drop or stagger? It'll all be one big drop. Um, and we will we'll let you know all about we'll it. We'll announce ahead of time. We'll make an event out of it. It'll be a big old thing. It'll be a wild. Uh, AGH lands. Crab Battle. We do actually back up these Twitch streams as VODs, but not on the main channel because we don't want to... We don't want to drown out the, the edited stuff on the main YouTube channel. We have a side YouTube channel if you look for Dwarven Forge Live. Um, what is that side YouTube channel? Dwarven Forge Live. If you look there, they are all backed up on there if you would rather watch the VODs there. Um, Woo! Yeah, so they are, they are backed up there. There are four screws holding this battery compartment in. Nice! Like is, that is a secure battery. It is not going anywhere. Normally you get like one. This is four. This is... Quadruple power. Any plans to have an alligator pack for the swamp? It might be fun to do a, a swamp bundle that includes the two-headed alligator if we can get it in stock. I don't know if we have it in stock. No idea. It's a good question. It's it is available in its, it's a great pack, idea. Right? The gator versus Bayou Barge battle. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the gator would work really well in the swamp. So maybe we should play around with that idea. We'll see if it's possible without it being like a massive undertaking. Um, All right. I have. Do you have the roughest estimate of when Wildlands might hit the store? Summer, fall? Summer. End of May is looking like the earliest it could be. Basically, as soon as we've got it all in the hands of the Kickstarter backers and we're able to like see, like, hey, how much of this stock needs to go to doing replacements for them and stuff, uh, then we will get it up. So it will not, it, it will be in the summer, but unless something tragic happens. Um, late May at the earliest. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. Um, if the last... It, depends, it all depends on when the last container goes. Yeah. The main problem is just that shipping is still a, a travesty. <laughs> That's one <laughs> way to put it. All right, we got the fogger. It's ready. I got, I get, uh, got non-distilled water in there, batteries. We got Brooklyn's finest tap water. Hey! Okay. hey. So this is continuous? Looks like it. And this is interval mode. Yeah, so it has like, yeah, it has like a, 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 pu a puffy mode and it has just like a steady stream mode. 
So I think we want to go full on. Yeah, at least for now. Nonstop. And this has this is uh, Toby designed this um, reservoir here so that if you if you have it if you're going to run it for a long period of time, a lot of condensation. If you put it on the spore claw, a lot of condensation is going to gather in there and start spilling out onto your table. So if you take the red plug out, this little tray will catch all the drips and then funnel them back into the uh, thing and just keep recycling the water and it won't spill all over your table. Yeah, it's a fun little, that change was so, made after Kickstarter. Yeah. Toby realized this was a problem and uh, so the came whole up with a neat little solution. It's designed to fit that perfectly. Look at that. Yeah. Got this neat little cut out here. It takes the uh, it takes the fogger or the light puck, or you can put a uh, you put a city building like a full building in there, so you could drop down or a castle tower. There's like a lot of things you can put in there, but big one is that, and then you can put your okay. Let's get in on that. Let's go. Uh oh, Whoa. hang on. What did I miss? I dropped on something. You do? All right, I don't know. You working, buddy? All right, here we go. Looks like it. It was like, it, was, it wasn't sure about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chuck says we have a lot of Crocs in stock, so. Crocs in stock. Crocs in stock, let's go. Selling shoes. The, the Gator Bayou Barge Battle sounds like a great bard band. It sounds like a Mountain Goat song. Yes. Um, let's see. I have a couple of pieces that were a bit damaged when they got to me. I was going to wait till I got everything to email customer service. Does that make sense, or should I contact them right away? I don't know. Ask Chuck. Ask Chuck. He's right here. Yeah, Chuck Chuck will understand uh -oh. Where did our customer support go? stuff the best. Is it on interval? Oh, no. There it goes. Know. Did you put it on interval? No. Huh. I wonder if it just... Yeah, oh, well. Uh, let's see. Will there be a paint guide for the whole null? Not for the whole null specifically, uh, but we will... Well, because I don't think you... It's just standard forest. Whole null just solves the forest standard. except for this, which just has a little of the, um, so the you, golden's interference You paint. do paint that? Okay. It, it just has a little bit of interference paint on it, so it has, like... It's hard to even see on camera. Okay, so we'll put... A so we'll put a bit for that in the accessories, plants, and stuff yeah. guide that just says, like, what we use to make that effect. Um... Hey, Teos, how you doing? Teos is here. We were talking about you earlier, Teos. Yeah, we were. We're talking about your I'm glad you weren't there during that part. Yeah. That would have been really awkward. We didn't give away the cool ending. It has a, it has yeah. a neat boss fight at the end. It's yeah. like a really, I don't know, it's, but the image is burned into my brain. Uh, also, I think I mentioned it before on the show, but it's, everybody doesn't, you should listen to the, uh, the Mastering Dungeons podcast that Teos yes. and Sean Merwin do. Um, Chuck says holding on for a full list is It's like easiest. a better version of news. Like we do news. They do actually like real D&D news. <laughs> yeah, they actually... Uh, um, and uh, and uh, then cover interesting topics. Like right now they're covering, yeah, well, updating old adventures. Well, yeah, we don't, we don't do tabletop news. We do Dwarven Forge news, which is... Yeah. Yeah. No, um, it's really, uh, it's fun stuff. Let's see. Uh, oh, there was something I saw. I wish it was two hours long. Mark's cause... wondering how this work, how the fogger works. Is it an ultrasonic transducer? Yes. Nice. I, that sounds like a made-up thing to me. But it's, it's sonic, what the fog monster does. You have to use a sonic does, screwdriver to get it open. Yeah. And then it, uh, yeah. and it just, to see, you pour water in, you put the batteries, turn it on, it's got two settings. On and continuous. Fogger does a pretty good job. Yeah, it's way more powerful than the prototypes we were using during the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. A, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's only, it, it's just gotten better in the design process. Also, it technically works, um, Sideways also. Although oh yeah, so you they can didn't want. I'm going to put on continuous. You see, they didn't want me to say that, like make the claim, but it does. They Eric they. was worried that it was like we could be in inviting trouble. Yeah. But so you can make that blow through like a cavern entrance or something. Yeah, something we could build up some things, or we could build a piece for it or something. Um, oh, is there, oh, let's see. I don't know why let's it's... see. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, also looks particularly good if you have light coming from behind it. Oh, this is a really good uh, request. Can we place minis for quick scale? Do we have minis here? Uh, On the thing over there from when Mace was making stuff? Hang on. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have a 
our spine devils. We don't have player mini. Oh no, we do. Look at that. What did they want to see to scale? Uh, just scale. I can put it by the spore claw. For the one spore thing. Spore claw is really big. Yeah. Moral of the spory. Need to just keep a Reaper Sir Four scale around. That'd yeah. be fun to have, actually. Yeah, um, this thing is like it's really massive compared to. I, this see. is like a. Wow, that's that's huge. Yeah, you could definitely get swallowed in that maw. Absolutely. Like without even thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Also. Uh, basilisk? Very big. It's a big basilisk. Yeah, we... He's very, very big boy. Our whole, our whole thing with it was just like, what if we took a basilisk and we just made it giant? Like, big. Like, yeah. Would, let it be... It just big. makes this, yeah. just make this monstrous, like, this place is so wild that even a basilisk is, yeah. has grown into this massive this thing. This did we say it was large or huge? Oh, I'm pretty sure we, we didn't say large. We said it was... It's gotta be huge, Huge right? at least, it, yeah. I mean, it, it fits, it fits a three by three. Yeah. easily. There's no way we have it as large. If we do, that's a mistake. <laughs> no. Um, let's see. Have I missed anything? Anything else we need to cover real quick? Uh, night Wilderness. Good night. Street by three swamp actually looks gorgeous with the increased density. That's the cool yeah. thing with it. You can make it larger and sprawling, or you can put it closer together to you make it feel go, more dense and threatening. If you have this plus some of the forest stuff, or even mountain stuff, you can just pepper it in, you know, you could make a really, a, a really wild thing. Oh, I, think, I think once we drop the minis in here too, it really makes the size of this build like even more. <laughs> when you figure... Yeah. When you figure this, oh man. Yeah, when you figure a mini is taking up a one by one inch square and this table is 36 by 36. <laughs> like, it's it's really it's really wild. Yeah. All right, we should uh, we should probably call it. A we night. should wrap. Have we seen that build on the table in the back? No. no. But hey, that. come to Adepticon. Hey, when is Adepticon? Adepticon is the end of this month. I think it's the twenty fourth to the twenty seventh, something like that. Cool. It's that last weekend of March. And you'll see Mace, Chris, and Hamster yeah. at Adepticon. Uh, is there anything fun? You gonna have anything fun there? We're gonna have a lot of fun things. We're gonna, uh, we want to be able to, so it's our first time doing a war game focused convention. Uh, I really should have put this in the news. Oh well. Um, we are now, baby. It's our first time doing a non-RPG convention, like doing, doing war games. Uh, so we're gonna have a, a big fun build. I think we're also gonna have, uh, some simpler stuff so that you can, like, build out, uh, Builds and stuff and like play around with like the idea of like what it feels like to make a war game battlefield with uh, with Dwarven Forge. Um, and you'll be there so. in the flesh. Yeah. So you can say hi, and shake thinking, hands. Uh, yeah, and, and I, I think we're going to have some free stuff to give away what? too. What? Free, you yeah. say? I think we're locking in exactly what? 50 it, platinum pieces. To buy. I think it's... I'm pretty sure what we landed on was... Well, that'd be a surprise. That'd be a surprise. Tune okay, in yeah, that'd be a surprise. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's fine. Especially so yeah, if you're in the Chicago-ish area, Chicago-ish, Chicago-ish, it's not in Chicago. It's in like a Chicago it's in a yeah. suburb of Chicago, I believe. Makes sense. Um, but if you're I anywhere nearby, um, yeah, we're gonna be there. Uh, we're gonna be square. Woo! And uh, we'd love to have you there. I rhymed there with there. Okay, you did. Oh. Ah. Well, that's a sign. It's time to call it a night. Yeah. Clearly so that, not operating on the force. This was our unboxing of Sorrow Isle, the swamp mega build from Wildlands. Gives you a pretty good idea of what's in there. Uh, I can't wait to start building with mine. I'm going to do something, something swampy at home. Uh, and I can't wait for you guys to get yours in hand and start uh, quite swampy at home. <laughs> Man, I hope there's I'm, something swampy at home. No, it's a morass. Yeah. A marsh of uh, yes, madness. Yes, please. Yes. Um, but I can't wait to see what you guys are going to build when you get yours uh, at home soon. Shipping, shipping should be kicking off in the next couple of days with this stuff. And uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Thanks for all the good questions, all the good vibes, all the good ideas, the good laughs. Uh, tomorrow night, Hamster's Hobby Hang. Yes. If you got painting, okay. If you got painting questions, 
Hamster is down to answer any painting questions you have regarding Wildlands. So even if we don't have the guides out yet, if there's something you're trying to paint, or if you have like a specific like sure. piece thing, he's more than happy to help. Uh, he's also going to have just come off of filming the mountains and ruins painting video, so he's going to have it very fresh in his mind. He might also have life advice for you if you want. Like, you yeah, know, you never know what you're going to get with Hamster. Ask Good. him about paintball. Ask oh, him man. about spam. Uh, ask him about war games. Ask, ask him about him. Evangelion. Make him cry on camera. <laughs> I made him, oh my god, we were right. both like super depressed, like Christmas oh, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's called the guy. And we it's both good. watched Evangelion. Oh, it was the worst idea. It's gonna, I watched it and I was like, hey, this ruined me. You should watch it. And they did. Battle, I said, oh, man. No. It was great. So, uh, great. thank you guys. Don't watch, <laughs> don't watch Evangelion. Arby's. Don't watch Evangelion. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and uh, be safe. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thanks, drag it out. Ask him about Hot Pockets, yes. Hot Pockets, good. The man knows Hot Pockets inside and out. Good night, everybody.